start the stream. The stream has started. Um, as always, if anyone wants to recap the last session, you are free to do so, and you would get a hero point in return. Hero point. Anyone want to volunteer? I don't have anything prepared. Uh, I, never I did not anyone. summarize my notes, but... Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> if, if I can be heard. Are we coming through okay? Yep. Yep. Yes. All right. Uh, so last time we got an emergency communique, there was an execution to be happening. And we were about notes, to go but... through our old tricks as usual. Heading down to the police station. Try to get inside, but they'd already left. Uh, that's when we knew we had to get to the square as soon as possible. We ran, and when we got there, we saw them ready to have their bloody sport out there in front of all the people. Uh, while talking and trying to formulate a plan, they killed someone right there in front of everyone. And so we decided to act. We went forward and attacked. We were able to kill Sergeant Corbin, but uh, one of my personal ex, uh, we'll call her a nemesis for now, uh, she took a picture of us and got away. I almost died. Freddy almost died. Really, everyone almost died, but, you know, <laughs> we're a little harder to kill than your casual street folk. And, uh, oh, and there was a girl, and she got cut in the eye, and then she, like, turned into a lot of light. I, I don't really know. I was, I was sort of woozy. I was hoping someone else could explain that part to me, but, you know. Interesting times. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so all that happened. <coughs> nice. And, uh, two of the there were guys that got killed, weren't there? There were two. Yeah, there were two prisoners that got yeah. killed. Um, two gentlemen. Uh, two gentlemen. The gentlemen. The unnamed gentlemen died on the gallows. Um, you guys took down yeah. uh, Commander Corbin's dead. Uh, Barrister Allen's oh. dead. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, you, have, you can continue if you'd like, if you have more. Or are you good? I thought oh, you said no, something. Sorry. Agree. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. That's about, that's about what happened. Uh, Commander Tess Gill is the one that took the picture. Um, Dano's f former... Uh, commander in the shroud, and she ran off, escaped into the city. Um, and in between the sessions, you know, we we had some action with <clears throat> with uh, uh, Larry and Pam. I don't know if uh, if uh, maybe Bessie wants to go over what happened with uh, Larry and Pam. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to like respond in the Discord today. Um... So I had Luke and I went to go meet. I received a call from Pam, Larry, and Jeremiah that they were safe from the execute after the execution attempt. And I asked them to meet me at Miss Moore School and to send Jeremiah to the Whisper or to the court floppy corn husk. And then we took Larry and Pam back to Myra's apartment and they're going to crash there for a day or two to get their affairs in order and figure out what their next steps are. And um, I guess we found out that Pam was a teacher and she was teaching about, was it talismans? Runes. What was it? Runes. 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 And, like, that's kind of how she got sucked up into this. And I found okay. out, I didn't get a chance to ask, but the girl's name that was attacked and possibly blinded and disappeared, her name is Telia, T-E-L-I-A. So currently we are harboring fugitives in Myra's apartment <laughs> for a few days and uh, until they come up with a game plan of what they want to do. And, uh, yeah, so Jeremiah also stopped by the floppy corn husk. Junebug had a little conversation with him. 
Uh, if you want to recap that, you're free to. Sure. So this gentleman came by, and he was all scuffed up, so I gave him a little bit of a healing. And, uh, you know, he was all right, but he seemed uh, a little wary and wanted to know if we had any place safe to be. And I uh, didn't know if I could trust him, so I didn't bring him back to the Whisper Well. But we had a nice conversation at the Floppy Corn Husk. And it turns out that the gentleman, Jeremiah, was a private investigator, thought something was up with the police, and what do you know? He was right. He was a purveyor of magical talismans and the like, and he got arrested by him for, for peddling those magical items. And so I, I thought he could be useful to us, so I offered him to come back and meet the gang, but he declined, even though I gave him my delicious gin. Rude. But um, maybe we'll Rude. see him again. Maybe we won't. Cool. And then I guess the, late, the last thing that happened really was um, <clears throat> Luca and Freddy had a conversation outside of the floppy corn husk. And uh, Freddy was passed a note by someone who seemingly accidentally bumped into him, gave it to Luca to decipher. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, everyone's back at the, the Whisper Well. Uh, with this information, Be Bessie and Meyer are getting ready for a gig uh, for Georgie. And, yeah, I mean, that's that's where we're going to start tonight's session. Yeah, we're probably, like, in a corner yeah. trying to decide which song we're going to perform, and I'll be, like, muttering things like, okay, you start with that, and then I'll come in on the five, six, seven, eight, or something like that. And Myra's like, I th we, you know, we'll just follow our instincts. I think we'll we'll do just fine. Um, Maybe when I'm doing my little like shoulder shimmy, you can like shoulder shimmy at the same time as me. Like I think I that'll go on with the fans really well. I feel you groove, and we'll 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 get the crowd sweating in no time. I gotta go deal with the baby, but before I do that, can I um can I make a roll to see what critical rune theory is? Yeah, uh, yeah, I thought I, I we had explained it before, but um... no, nobody got a high enough roll. Okay, yeah, you can, uh, yeah, you can make a roll. You gave it a very general. I forget what I told you guys about it, but okay, I got a twenty-four. Oh, what, what did you roll? Society. I no, I rolled Arcana. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, so. Um... Critical Rune Theory basically is, um, I, I wrote it down somewhere, but um, <coughs> it's the, the the study of runes, which th these are magical items that um, give you give people enhancements to their armor, weapons, um, and stats, stuff like that. So, um, Rune Theory is pretty much like. Um, Teachers uh, spreading that information, like giving that information um, to other people, uh, teaching them how to etch them into their items, and also talking about like teaching about the history of it, which is um, just that it's it's often seen that people that had access to runes or like the knowledge of runes um, often um, have more of an advantage in their in their life than people that don't get to learn about them. Um, the the shroud. I mean, this is, these these are magical, so obviously the shroud is just against them. Um, that's kind of all you need to know. Okay, so if Drace rolled a, a society check, he wouldn't find out much more than that. No, it, no, it'd be kind of the same information. You know, that's the exact reason why I always write my name in Myandor. You know, <laughs> it's your own version of a rune. Um. After you have a big bowl of chili, I bet you ruin those underwear. Hey, oh, <laughs> you should use that one in your act. It's uh, about better than half of it. You know, that's probably the best joke I came up with the whole time when I should have like been Ruby making jokes <laughs> in my previous. Well, you, I, I would have still pronounced it rune instead of ruin. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. You ruined those underwear, but it was a good joke. I agree. It's ruined. Um. So, yeah, I don't know if there's anything you guys want to discuss or what you'd like to do. 
Um, I do want to uh, ask about this note. Ready. Can we decipher this note? Yep. Can I decipher that note? We get to see it. What do you want to ask Freddie? Well, we don't know that he has it. We don't know that he has the note. Well, yeah, I want to. I want to make yeah. sure uh, with Freddie that I can uh, disclose the information on in the note. Yeah, he um he gathers you guys over to like a to a table, like a private table, and he says, uh, "Luca, would you like to share with the class?" Alrighty, guys. So here's the skinny. Uh, we've been passed information that, well, some of it's kind of gibberish, but otherwise, it says uh, Raycath and the Songbirds are friends of the Bygone Order and need protecting at all costs. Again, some of it's gibberish, so this is what I got of it. I'm just going to read it as I see it. Re ban yo ro a. I've tried to do some work in my head and I can't quite figure it out. I've read it backwards, I've read it forwards, I've tried to switch the letters around, but it's what I've got. Ooh. And I'm Say done now. Say it one more time. Re, R-E-H, like her backwards. Ban, yo, ro, ah. Is ah uh, like A-H? Row R O W. Yeah, but again, just phonetically. Um, so that's what you've deciphered there, or are we starting from square one? Well, I think we've got to protect uh, Raycath and the Songbirds. Yeah. So, like, yeah. So we got the message about uh, Raycath and the, and the Songbirds, and like the last bit, it's like he, he was using like Luca's using the same cipher that he got from the first bit so he knows that this that he deciphered it correctly but that part still doesn't make any sense like it's just kind of very different um, gobbledygook yeah is it uh a language one of us might know or something like that i don't know it's it's not it's not a language that you guys can understand uh, or i can't can. understand this elect voice <coughs> say again sorry I can understand this a, a, a wee bit. I might have been drinking too much. <laughs> uh, well, we're all on the same page. If you heard what I heard, I think we're all... Uh, we, we need to find some way to figure what the rest of this means, but I think the first part of it's pretty clear. Reban Yoroa. Yaban Roa. Yaban Yoroa. Say it faster. <laughs> we should watch out. This might summon a demon or something, you know. Yeah, if everybody says it all at once, maybe. <coughs> Very uh, Beetlejuice situation. Maybe it'll become clear to us in time. Well, I guess uh, the last time we heard about those, uh, the songbirds, they were over at Georgie's, weren't they? Right. Uh, yeah, or the purple narple, one of those. Uh, yeah, Same. one of those. No, no, that was it the elbow room. Hold on, Ray Cats and the Songbirds are performing tonight at the purple narple. I am opening for them. That's where we have to go soon. Oh, you're an opener, of course. I usually oh, yeah. thought the second act was the one that makes a little bit, yeah, I thought you were better than that. Ray Cats and the Songbirds is the hottest band. I am so lucky to have the option to. Yeah, hot because they got temperatures because they're a couple of sick boys. <laughs> That's the play. How can I increase the volume? Uh, of the music? Yeah, I figured it out. I didn't want to make it too loud. Sometimes it overwhelms the stream. Fair enough. Hmm. Do we need a plausible cover to, uh, you know, head our way over there? I don't know if we've got <laughs> one of up yet. I, I, how far away is the purple purple from where we are? Yeah, I didn't see the map. But on the I map, don't think we're traveling through the tunnels. It uh, sounds like we all should be going over there. Yeah. The purple purple's on Main Street. Uh, yeah, it's not far. 
a couple blocks. I'm just gonna. We're just gonna walk it. Yeah, you, if you remember, like when you guys were out walking, it you didn't see Shroud. It seemed like they kind of have re- taken a retreat um, at this point. Now, without their leaders, they probably don't know which end is up. Ooh. I mean, we can hope so. Yeah, they're probably regrouping stronger than we can even imagine. So I doubt we uh, hit them yeah. as hard as we would have liked to. But I suppose we'll see. Yeah. Corbin's probably just like some soldier in the grand scheme of things. Right. Commander Douchebag. Yeah. Unrelated. Did. You know that that had the audacity to tell me she was hungry? Olivia? Oh, yeah. Son of a bitch. I said, you should eat your dinner then. The <laughs> The nerve. Should I eat your dinner? Let her know. Show her this in uh, 10 years. <laughs> that one time you were hungry when you were uh, <laughs> a, a wee child. <laughs> are we, are we baby? Are we, are we baby? If she doesn't stay down, then I'll give her a snack. But... Give her the dinner that she didn't eat. Or the dinner. Give her the dinner. Yeah. Yeah. So it sounds like we're going to the purple nurple tonight, guys. Yeah, we're going to the night. Yeah. Purple nurple. What time is it? It's almost time to go. It's- is it still the same day? I'm, I'm confused. Same yeah. Day. Same day. It's the evening. Oh shit. Same day. Like we just saw people. Some people get brained. Yes. Yeah. Earlier today. We, we also brained people. We <laughs> we did do some killing. Oh, here I go. Here, 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 here. Before we go, um, I have a June bug's not here, and also I have a travel. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I have to go give uh, the bank key to the child. Absolutely, uh, do what you guys need to. I think also do you want to do Marshall? And then also, uh, I put on a cowboy hat and a different jacket. <laughs> you know, maybe, yeah, maybe I should not wear my blue, yeah. blue jacket. Either heel of Marshall. Oh, Marsh. Yup. What's up? He's getting ready to come up. I was gonna say, uh, I don't know if he needs Tylenol or if he pooped or so he didn't do a post in the poop. Poopy. 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 Looks like he's grabbing his head a lot. I feel like he's gonna go in our deal with him, and then Olivia's gonna get out of bed. Cluster. Yeah. Okay. What? Six. Got that boom boom pal. Oh, hello. Boom boom boom. So anyway, Drace, tell me uh, how good is my uh? What's the uh? Fantasy version of Texas here. I don't know. Fantasy version. Of Texas. Look, okay, think of think of a fantasy name for Texas. Um, um, uh, Texas. <laughs> Mexifornia. <laughs> Mexifornia. What's that? This is backwards. All right, Trace. Right, you tell me. I, I've been practicing Max my Mexifornia accent. Okay. Max mm. Howdy, partner. <laughs> How are you? Let's round up them doggies. <laughs> Get along, little doggy. Get That's along. actually impressive. You're doing an Irish guy doing a, a <laughs> text action. Texas That's Texas. impressive. Well, you know, it's, like it. a, it's a bit of a gift, you know. <laughs> I know usually I sound very unaccented, so putting on an accent is what's really hard. Wait, what What was the actual question that you asked me? I'm making sure that was a good Mexifornian accent. Oh, I thought it was great. Thank you. I thank you nailed you. it. So, yeah, you know, a nice, uh, like, uh, buckskin 
jacket with like the frills on it, you know, and then a cowboy hat. And I think no one's gonna recognize me, just in case. What kind of what kind of place is the purple nurple? Oh, you've never been to the purple nurple? Oh, it's like it's a club. You are in for a treat, my friend. Similar to the Whisper Well, but just the men. Will they allow me with my apron? I don't think I have anything to wear. Can Boomer come? Boomer probably cannot come. I don't know if they accept Can mountains. Can you well. slam the outside? I toss her my bag of like outfits and say, "See if something in here fits." She, I can... she rummages through and she finds the sparkliest, most like un June bug outfit she can, and she puts it on and she strikes a pose. <laughs> What do you think? I, I, um... Uh, <laughs> Does she, like, wash me. off a little bit, too? What'd you say? Does she, like, wash off a little bit, too? Junebug, I just assume, is kind of just got oh. dirt patches. And she had she had soot had... on her face recently, too. Oh, absolutely. Oh, maybe I should do that. But, hey, I can use it as, like, rooms. I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I come over and I kind of, like, make some adjustments. And I've got some pins and I, like... As I'm like doing it, I like grab you by the chin very gently and say, "Do not stain this dress." Okay. She <laughs> she's like scared, and she's she means it. She will try to do. <laughs> Please, I beg of you. I only have so many good dresses. Please do not stain it. I meant to tell y'all that I made some bombs. Um, and uh, I think they're pretty cool. Bombs or bombs? Thank you. Bombs. That was my question. <laughs> like, one's a little more dangerous than the other. Baboom bombs. Like, lip, like lip bombs or? Sexy baboom bombs. Sex baboms. Boom bombs. Yeah. yeah. And um, I, I made five. Maybe we can each have one. I thought maybe we should all go in having a little extra um, weaponry. Our power More fights. I like it. Yeah? Okay, well, um, I like the, idea that we the real like formula is called Alchemist Fire, but I've been calling them Blue Blazers. Um, you're welcome to have one of mine. Just, yeah, leather. So if you go into your path photo, you can equip one. What color do they burn? So they're orange. What's it actually? But they're called Blue Blazers. Yeah, because it's after the cocktail that you light on fire. Oh, I see. What's it, what's it called in the uh, in pet butter? Malcolm Misfire Lesser. I just Malcolm threw it Misfire. in the okay. in the cat there. I don't know if anyone gets it. Oh yes. There you go. Exactly that. Is that something like, well, I guess I, I would need Scott, but like if I turn into an animal, do I still have that on me? Like I feel weird. Uh, that's um, a good um, I don't think, they like, they have a 20, 20 foot range, and you use dexterity when you throw them. Cool. Where is there, young man? I can hold that there for you if you like. <laughs> Why is it not? Is this the accent he was doing? Hooey, Miss Junebug. You certainly look like a different caliber. Oh, wait. That's a very underhanded compliment. <laughs> yep, Olivia's out of bed. It's a shit show over what? here, guys. It was kind of a shit show over here as well. I, I might have to go back to. Alright, found it. Babies. Uh, babies. What, Olivia? <laughs> Oh, can beautiful. you go to bed? Can you be in a big girl? Me? Yes. One D eight fire damage, one percent fire damage, and that's pretty cool. The cool, it's not cool little, cool little bomb there. Thank you. It took me a bit, but uh, I think I nailed it. Oh, I, and I got a little something for the rest of you too. A nice big yes. hug. 
Oh. Oh. I'll take it gladly. Oh. All right. Uh, how can you? I learned it. I have a new skill. Go to sleep, Marshall. How oh. you? Oh, Marshall. Mm-hmm. 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 That's my new grapple skill. In a fair. Nobody wants to sleep tonight. What's going on over there, Mama? Marshall's just bus in, and Olivia won't stay in bed. I oh, know. Can she get out of bed? Oh, she has like big girl bed now. She has a big girl bed. Mm. Or it's like a it's it's her crib converted. Gotcha. Converter. That's a convertible. I think we solved ours because <laughs> we got the pinky. But now that we've figured that out, we'll be okay. But it was kind of harrowing there for a minute. Go to sleep, Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> What you have in there? Candy girl, you are my world. Couldn't tell you why. Let's hear the song. It's like on the stream now. Putting on the Ritz is what it sounds like. <laughs> Putting on the Ritz. Please leave all over gold canes and top hats with the doorman. That's the baby. That whole album would be good for this time period. As, yeah, that's why I, that one came up. Yeah, especially. You'll be under duress. and under duress. Loving every minute. Ruining his back with all the models for All right. Sorry, guys. It's fine. Okay. You're fine. Baby be baby in. That's true. That's true. Baby be baby in. So let's, uh, what are we planning on doing? We're all yeah, dressing up. Get some disguises. We definitely should I wear know. wear something different. I think I, I can just I go as an animal. They're not gonna I let guess. animals into the purple nipple. There. It's called uh, a rat. You think I, I can't oh, find man. a way in? <laughs> His name's Templeton. If you become a rat, I'm sure you know Bessie or I can put you in our you know purse. Or if uh, somebody like wears a hat, you could pretend to be Ooh. a bird in the hat. You'd be a rat. Oh, be a rat to eat it. Right. Somebody wear a chef hat. Good rat to eat it. <laughs> Has anybody seen sure, the movie uh, The Witches? Just carry me around like those little mice. Yeah. Oh, what a great. Dan yeah, was gonna have a cowboy hat. I have a cowboy hat. If you'd like to be inside. Yeah, I could. I could probably just ride in the brim of that bad boy. Your nose bleed. So I should probably be like a mouse instead of a rat, so it's a little lighter. Get a baby rat. Um, Do you maintain well, your mask when you change? Can we wash that? There's like a stain. Yeah, you're just like rubbing it all. Um. Um, okay, there's a spray down there on the ice machine part of the fridge. Can you spray the blood with that and then... Yeah, but do like a gentle cycle. Gen- Apparently Olivia had a nosebleed. Oh, poor thing. She's looking at Naughty Hentai again. Jesus. <laughs> She's probably just picking her nose. She, she did it on purpose so she could come downstairs. Candy girl. Bessie, is your act 
singing and dancing, or is it more like burlesque? Both. It's singing, dancing, it's burlesque. Oh. Do you do a feather act? No. Oh, are you talking more I'm... like a cab cabaret or a, like a burlesque with a, a Chris Christina Aguilera? It's, my performance is more of like the burlesque Christina Aguilera take before. Ooh, oh, old lady marmalade. So, Nick showed me burlesque. Oh, I'm still in my accent. Nick showed me burlesque, and I told him it's just Coyote Ugly. And I told him we just have to watch Coyote Ugly. I still have not done. But can you, like, just verify for me, Amy, that it's just Coyote Ugly? Well, the end is different. Like, she wants to be a famous songwriter person. And there's not a single coyote in the whole movie. Oh my goodness. Not one. Hey, hey, oh, hey, Loka, maybe you could be a, uh, a coyote. <laughs> I'm, not sure that, okay. I'm not sure that'll fit in your hat. It's a pretty, it's a tiny gallon. You haven't seen his hat. This is quite the hat. Yeah. It's like, like Abraham Lincoln cowboy hat. All right, now you lost me. <laughs> like a like no, a Dimido no, 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 hat. Oh, it's a Dimido. Owner of the Dimsdale Dimido. You know, Dose type five gallon. Ten gallon. Ten gallon. I assume. Is that okay, Game Master? Uh, yeah. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Oh, yeah, I yeah. under the hat. <laughs> Game Master, I gave everyone. One um, bomb, so everyone's equipped them. You gave everyone a bomb? Yep. You did. Or you were gone. In a nice way. She told she us they were bombs. Uh, she didn't throw it. Then I'll us. give us all hugs. I'll just let you know that I believe none of you were proficient with bombs. <laughs> oh, I am proficient. So you'll be at a plus zero when you throw it. Well, I mean, what's bomb work? Intimidation? A cold oh, heart is to throw a bomb. Right? I mean, light it and throw it. I yeah. mean, come on now. I, that's gotta be an athletics check. Yeah, I mean, I'm here for it. I want to see the disaster that's <laughs> true. I'm just saying, you're, not, you're gonna have a hard time hitting your targets. Yay, we all have bombs. Bomb Something's on fire, and that's always fun. Can I take a, a but, uh, bomb, bomb lore? In the, in the uh, oh, the bombardier, bomb, 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 bomb. bomb. <laughs> uh, we're stupid. Just uh, what uh, what? Let's still right give me bomb. Uh, get Marshall down. Bomb, yo, I don't know. Tom Bombadil. Yeah, so, so Is it, from uh, what I heard coming back, was that Luca, you got this. Uh, message and we have to go to Bessie's show to figure out more about it uh well the other the 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 starring band Ray Kath and the songbirds uh they are friends of the bygone order and we need to protect them at all costs sounds like they may be in danger oh, well, we may want to be like finally in the crowd that's what the note said and I believe the note I guess it's a good thing that we didn't frame them then Absolutely. I mean, that was what we were planning. But... <laughs> yeah. we'll we'll that that yes, they don't yeah. need to know that. Well, good, because I was a little worried about Bessie anyway going. Now we all get to go together. Yeah. And I'm wearing a pretty dress. Oh yeah, I'm I'm sort of picturing the outfit that Ken is wearing in the Barbie movie <laughs> when he's a cowboy. Yeah. When he's a cowboy. You have two pairs of sunglasses like on. A big, big cowboy hat. Tall cowboy. Hat. So wait, open leather vest with a fur coat. No, no, no. Yes. When he was a cowboy. But wasn't he always wearing a, a fur coat? No. Yeah, two pairs of sunglasses at one point. Oh, when he's out in the real world. Uh, I see. Are you wearing a pink bandana? <laughs> no, it's the it's the red bloody bandana. 
from the thing. You should not point it to the chat. I've not seen um, the Barbie movie. Barbie movie? Pretty good. It's Amy said so it was, cute. Amy said it was garbage. What? It's adorable. I liked it. Oh, Ryan Gosling is like... amazing in it. What'd you say? I said Ryan Gosling was amazing in it. I was talking about like how actually his parts are the parts I remember the most, even though it's a very pro Yeah, I know. Movie, well, he was but like the, he's the one that got the uh, award noms, right? Well, like, honestly, he kind of deserves it. He his song at the end is amazing. And I th I sing it kind of to myself all the time. I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. Hanging at the Oscars. I put some pictures of me in the chat. That one with the large hat, that's the hat I'm wearing, and that is the outfit I'm wearing. Where did you where did you post the pictures? In the in the from the mouths chat. Oh, in that chat, okay. Yeah. I was like, why I don't, don't I see it in Is there a different chat we prefer? Private chat? I thought you were posting it in like the um the actual like channel like the, the Discord channel. I didn't but, even like, know that okay. there was a text chat there. I mean, either. That's why I was like, where's it at? Where's the person? It's convenient. That hat is ridiculous. There you go. <laughs> but, you know, that's oh, shit. Like. There it is. I see it now, yeah. Oh, shit, now <laughs> oh my god, that's insane. Go. All right, let me. Uh, I gotta help. Oh, yeah, you can fit in there. I think I you think could I be could... a coyote in that hat. I think I could be a coyote in that hat. <laughs> you could be a very weird. small coyote, but you can still you can get in there. You could be a baby, a pup. Uh, you're, you're a toy coyote. You know? Well, in my, in my best form, I, I can't really become anything too large yet, so... What's a baby you know. coyote called? Let's find out. Is it a pup? Coyote, I would assume, is a pup. Because it, yeah, it's not a kit. Yeah, it's a yeah, pup. Yeah, it's not a kit. It's a fox. Um, wait. Coyote baby. The baby coyote. Why is coyote because he's gonna be a coyote. But yeah, what? it just says they're it says they're usually referred to as pups. That's it. Yeah. Also, but it was, what's a group of coyotes called though? Oh, I was literally just looking up names uh, of groups of animals. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's one of my favorite things. Same. Let's go through some. Like, hold on, we gotta find coyote for oh, a band of coyotes. Band of coyotes. Okay. Them all the banjos. All right, what do we think? What do we think a uh, a falcons are? I don't know. Yeah, I think I've heard this one before. Uh, I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna cheat. The flying V. Yeah, I'm not, I don't want to look it up. I don't want to cheat either. Uh, uh, think, think, think. Uh, stars of a movie. Uh, all of them. The whole thing. Celebrity. Cast. 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 Oh. Oh. I cast the Falcons. Ooh, giraffes is fun. Oh, what's giraffes? A uh, forest. Baby. It's very. Uh, it's derivative of a giraffe. Heck. A neck of giraffes. <laughs> you're, you're on the right track. A, a giraffe of giraffes. A carafe of giraffes. Ooh, that we that all... <laughs> a carafe of giraffes. <laughs> it is a tower of giraffes. A tower of giraffes. I like that. Pretty good. Everyone knows this one, but I'll just throw it out anyway. You know what a, a group of owls is called? A parliament. Yeah. Parliament yeah, that's, that's the one that most people can throw out there. Or like a oh, murder of Theros is a good yeah. one. Yeah. I like when it's you know like when it is derivative like a prickle of porcupines. porcupines yeah. Cute. I like when it like makes no sense at all. Well, like, <laughs> like a right, like zebras. It's a, a zeal of zebras. It just starts with the Z. Right, like, yeah, come on, you could have done. Z. <laughs> Well, with anything. A wisdom of wombats. See, now they're just coming up with things. Just being yeah. Some of yeah, them, exactly. some of them yeah. also have, like, multiple ones, too. Yes. Well, apparently, foxes can be called a skulk or a leash. Yes. A skulk or a leash? A leash? Yeah. Why leash. a leash? No, a leash, like a dog's, dog's leash. leash. Like a dog leash, yeah. Oh, because of fox hunting? Or when they're Maybe. Maybe. I mean, 
parrots they don't have called a pandemonium. Pandemonium of parrots. That's so good, though. Or, or like, this is one I remember, like, a crash. A crash of rhyming sources. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, what else we got? See, this one again. I mean, it works because it's alliterative and both, but a coalition of cheetahs. Uh, a, th a thunder of hippos is a good one. That's good. Oh, a that's caravan good. of camels. Oh, that's good too. Yeah. I like when it actually has something to do with the animal. Right, when there's actually a connection. Yeah. Apparently, clams <laughs> are a bit. They're still looking at 10 gallon hats just now. <laughs> just, <laughs> just swiping through. <laughs> He's got to find the right one. Some of these are really cool. <laughs> Only $120. God, from Etsy. Hippopotamus also has a bloat. Yeah, so oh. that was too. A bloat of hippos. Thunder's way cooler, though. Yeah. A castle of hyenas. Grasshoppers, are, grasshoppers oh, are a cloud. Oh, good. A shadow of jaguars. That's mm. It's gonna be more of a panther thing. Yeah. Well, jaguars actually are panthers. Panthers are jaguars for the most part. Just yeah. basically black, like straight black, yeah. melanistic. I think they're like the same. A Roomba of rattlesnakes. That's a good one. Yeah. A Roomba. A Roomba. Roomba. Locust, oh, wow. is, Locust is two on point. I bet you can't guess it. Two. What there's two of them. Locust. Is it like swarm? Oh. Oh, that that's that's actually I didn't even think of that, but no, there's two other ones that are right there. Uh, a plague yeah. or a cloud. Plague, oh, plague oh, good. That's good. Man, skunks are a stench. A stench of skunks. Yeah, see I like that. That's great. Did you steal your uh mountain squirrel from a stench of skunks? A stench of skunks. <laughs> it just came to me. Okay. I, I, need, was a can. I need to know what armadillos are. Ooh, hold on. What armadillos? Armadillos is What's your best guess? Oh, I don't see armadillos in here. I guess I'm going to have to look at it. An avalanche of armadillos? No. Oh. I like that. Yeah. Like rolling. Oh, fair. A rock slide. But avalanche starts with... <gasps> yeah, but... it's, it's in there. It's a group of armadillos is called a roll. Yeah, just, uh, a roll of armadillos. I love it. That's pretty good. I like well, this how one's... ravens. Ravens is unkindness, an unkindness of ravens. Yeah, a conspiracy of lemurs. This has a group of armadillos is known as a fez, but that's just a. I have multiple ones. I don't know where these came from. Like who's right. who decided these things? Yeah, somebody's like, oh, this one doesn't have it. It's like Wikipedia. If you get there first, yeah, you can just fucking own the domain. People are just out there like making this shit up. We're not right. believing it. <laughs> I read it on the internet, so. Must be true. You're just looking up armadillos now. <laughs> we'll see what <laughs> you know, um, armadillos. They're of the super order Zeniathra. Look up binturongs. Oh, they're cute. Those they're so, well, they're they're like ugly cute. Yeah. Like Bear cats. Ugly. A bong of binturong. A bong. I like the um, <laughs> what's this thing called? The uh, the bearded reedling. Have you ever seen that thing? What's no. that? How do you, how do you spell reedling? Reedling. So like reed and Okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. The bearded bird. Bird. Sorry, reedling. Delay, guys. Reedling. It's okay. Oh, we had fun. Great time. <laughs> we did it. Making the content. But just look it up. It's, it's yeah. a ridiculous looking bird ever. We're all going to be looking for a pet of a spoonbill. It's not. Mm -hmm. Well, that's next. What a bearded reedling. I see it. This is kind of silly it's looking. It's like a circle, basically. Wait, it's so, it's sort of like round and fluffy. He's still looking at armadillos. I want to see what a reedling looks like. A Ooh, one. The rosate spoonbill is just a flamingo spoonbill. Oh my, oh my <laughs> god, its wings are open. That's scary. Why are you guys talking about <laughs> weird birds? Listen, you were away. Sorry, How much you don't even worry about? Hey, know. can Dano have a pink fairy armadillo? <laughs> uh, I'd like to put out. This all came from. Um, 
from Luca turning into a coyote, and then we like went into like names of groups of coyotes, and then we descended into the madness from there. Got it. I'm on the same page now. Yep. So we're pretty oh. sure I, as a coyote, can fit in Dano's <laughs> ten gallon. <laughs> <laughs> I still think I want to do a little less than that. Maybe just be a, you know, a nice little Stuart Little or, you know. Imagine friend. if like, someone took off like a giant hat like that and there's a full-ass coyote under it. <laughs> well, I'll out. also have a little forethought and have like some black lining to the hat itself in case they ask me to take off the hat and then you can hide inside the lining. Ooh. Okay. You know. I think Understood. Like, I really think you should turn into a rat, and we can have a ratatouille situation. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, at first I thought I'd be a mouse just because I may not have fit. But yeah, let's let's do rat. I just want to be a big fat Remy rat. <laughs> you could wear a uh, a chef's hat instead. I'm gonna pull on your hair whenever I need you to go left or right. <laughs> yeah, we'll just see how that goes. <laughs> it's gonna be an itchy head kind of day. I just took a lot of skills in grapple, so. <laughs> I'll get you tangled Should in wear my a hair. Slightly somehow. less blue coat. Slightly less blue? Yeah. But that won't nearly bring out the color in your eyes. It won't. It's going to be a travesty, but. For the greater good. The greater yes. good. Greater Back. good. The greater good. Greater good. Greater good. Right, hot fuzz. Yay. Hope, hopefully, hopefully it stays away. She, if she keeps messing with it, then it's gonna be a problem. But I told her like you gotta stop messing with it because you don't want to get blood on Carl. Yeah. Oh. She's, like, no. She's like, no, I'm not gonna get blood on Carl. I'm like, okay. We'll there's see. A little bit, there's a little bit on her cat, her grape cat pillow. Yeah. Uh, pillow. I'll uh, try to. Deal with that tomorrow during the day. Uh, all right, we're here. Hats have been we're clear. put on. Hats been put on. Animals have been discussed. Um, is Luca an animal or himself? I'm a rat. Oh, you really are. You're using a. You're using a. a transform to turn to a rat. Absolutely. Okay. All right. <laughs> You're rat inside Dana's hat. A rat in the hat. Um, rat in the hat. Freddy is like, okay, so Bessie, you have a gig tonight coming up at the Purple Nerf. So wait, are we at the Whisperwell or are we at the Purple Nerf? Yeah, Nerf-well? Whisperwell. Whisperwell still. Okay. Yes, me and Meyer are about to head off. Should we all just go? I mean, uh, check out these the, the racket, the Rakaf, and the songbirds. Uh, do you guys want me to go? Should I stay? Um, Listen, Freddy, you're looking a little pale, mate. I don't know if we. Uh, well, maybe just take know, the night off. And you know, give me uh, some extra cash. I'm gonna be a big hotshot out there. You know, flashing some I, cash. Need a little spending money. I pull on Dano's hair. Act ah. like he, he knows what I'm talking about, but I really don't have much to say. I just wanted to pull it. I'm pretty sure uh, Luca agrees with me. <laughs> Make a... Three yanks for yes, three yanks for no. Squeak, squeaking. You're squeaking, squeak, squeaking. Uh, Dano, make a diplomacy check. One diplomacy check. Whoa, I got a little skill in diplomacy. That's, uh, 19 total. 19, nice. yeah, um... Freddy reaches into his pocket and gives you five gold pieces. Five gold pieces, Freddy! I wasn't asking you to drain the bank there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. Well, you know, hey, boys, we're going to be drinking on the, uh, on the, what's our order called again? Blue Blazer. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> oh. The feral hand. The bygone or- order or the feral hand? Bygone order. The bygone order is paying for drinks tonight, boys. Wow. <laughs> All right, so Freddy's going to stay behind while you 
guys head off to the purple nurple. Nurp. The old nurple. Uh, nurple purple. So you guys, um, you guys ready to head out? You good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're gone? I think so. You're gone. Freddy goes sit at the bar. You guys leave. Head down the street as the sun has come down. It's evening time in Miss Moore. You head towards Main Street and the Purple Nurple. I'm sorry, I don't have a graphic for the Purple Nurple. I realize I should have made something. Um, but it is a... There's, it's like a, it's a club and it's, uh, the outside is lit up and there's a, like a marquee, uh, that says, uh, Recat and the Songbirds. And then underneath that is, uh, Bessie's name. This is Bessie, Bessie Barton. Um, and it says, this is tonight. And then, um, there's some like neon purple, um. I'm like tapping by her shoulder and then be like, that's me. She that's looks at it, she's like, they didn't bother to put my name on there. I'll have a word with Georgie. Um, you guys um, approach the purple nurple. Um, uh, Georgie is out, outside um, looking at his watch and he sees you approaching and like waves to you to, uh, to come up. To I saunter over. He says, Saunter. He says, by all means, take your time. You sauntering son of a. <laughs> I'm like, what time am I supposed to go on? It's. We were. We were. We've been expecting. We've been waiting for you. Um, oh, wait to see it. So he, uh, he lets you guys in. The rest of you. Um, yes, he's walking Bessie and Myra towards the door. He turns around and he's like, Do you guys have tickets? Oh, I, I say, Georgie, there was me. Uh, okay, um, you, you can make a uh, make a uh, diplomacy check again toward to him. You got it. How far as tickets? A nineteen. I mean, how much does it got to be? You know, what a couple co- copper pieces. Um, he, he he's like fine. He waves you guys in. Um, he says it's a two drink minimum as you guys go in uh, through the door. Um, you go in. I'll be about that. You, you heard him, lads. It's two drinks per drink. <laughs> you, you go in. Level first minimum. You notice that. I mean. Uh, okay, sorry. Two drink minimum. Um, you guys go in. Um, it's a, like a dimly lit club. Um, there's like there you see a stage kind of you come down a little a little bit of a hall there's like an office or two on the sides and um when you come to an opening where there's like um some tables and chairs and then back in the corner um is a, like a brightly lit stage um there's also like looks like a little vip section up uh next to the stage with like some couches and stuff like that some people getting like bottle service um there's a few people that kind of stay down. There, there's there's quite a few people here, like kind of just like citizens, but um, there's a couple that kind of um, stand out to you. First of all, let me get you a picture of Georgie so you can see what he looks like. Um, so that's good. Oh, um, he's got like a purple ass suit and tie. Um, he's starting to go a little bald and um, big fancy mustache. Um, yes, yeah, so you guys go in. There is um, a guy up in like the VIP section. He's got a gray suit and like a gold tie. Um, he's got like a cream-colored handkerchief in his breast pocket with like a little flower on his like lapel. He's sipping a martini. Um, he's surrounded by like two young women uh, in like flapper dresses. Uh, they're keeping in contact. They're kind of like giggling back and forth while taking your drinks. He's got like um dark blonde hair. Um you also see a guy in, in a chair next to a table um who is wearing like gold colored pants and he's wearing a fur coat with no shirt on. He 
he's got a huge, like, uh, very high and slicked back hair. Um, Is it Macklemore? It, it's it's like imagine like Macklemore like but like a little skinnier and like more ridiculous hair. Um, mm-hmm. He yeah, no shirt, just a fur coat. He's like man spreading, full man spreading. Got his like legs way up there. The chair. It looking. It looks like he brought this chair from home. Like it's a it's like a ridiculously <laughs> fancy chair. Um, doesn't go with the other chairs that are in this club. Um, he has in his left hand a, a large chain like a metal chain um and at the end of the chain there is like a medium sized uh like wild cat um sitting there on the floor next to him the cat looks like underfed it looks like it has not been well taken care of um he, also has, he also has on his right shoulder a um a terrifying looking like like big ass bird it's like a blue and gray, blue and gray feathers. The speaking of birds, this is why it was funny. Um, it, it's like blue and gray feathers. It's got a huge like yellow and black beak. Its uh, legs are like gray and yellowish, like very dirty looking. Um, the bird is like too big for this guy um, to be on his shoulder, uh, but he's just like taking it. Um, and uh, on the stage, kind of like in a less lit area, you can see what you assume to be um, Rakath and the songbirds in red robes and their plague masks. Um, looks like they're just kind of like messing and like putting horns together. Like a couple of them play like the trumpet and the trombone. And the guy has like a standing, like upright bass. Um, so they're kind of just like tuning Ooh. their instruments. Um, yep. together. play with their plague masks. Um, yeah, they're like Slipknot, dude. Cool. They're like, they're like the uh, me, I didn't realize this place was a zoo. And look, there's animals here, too. <laughs> I, uh, I, I hadn't quite seen the animals until he just noticed that, and I see a big fucking cat and a big-ass bird, and I'm a fucking rat. <laughs> I don't feel very safe right now, so I'm fucking yanking Dano's hair pretty hard. Should have been a coyote, man. Should have been a coyote. Should have been a coyote. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm squeaking away. I guess I guess I kind of want him to know I, we got him pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, I guess I really didn't need to be... Huh? You no know shroud around? No. Alright, uh, I guess I don't really need to be a rat. In a restroom to... Excuse me, ladies, I have to go relieve myself. And I'll <laughs> make my way to the unisex bathroom. And all of a sudden, we'll walk out together. It'll be hot. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you guys go to the restroom and then, uh, yeah, walk out. One one walks in, two walk out. <laughs> um, my goodness, was that a shit? <laughs> Man, I've been waiting at that glory hole a long time. <laughs> I put up a picture of the. Oh, actually, it's a. Oh, this is a red handkerchief. I said it was a gold handkerchief. It's a red handkerchief uh, that he's wearing. Um, the 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 guy you see in the VIP section. I put a picture of him up with his blonde hair. Um, looking oh, yeah, all rich. Um, and it's then let Thanks. me show you the uh, the guy man spreading in his chair. Um, I don't have the animals in the picture with him, but um, yeah, he's got his like flashy gold pants and his, his fur coat. Um, no shirt. It's a Come look. Come on. It's a look. Where's Macklemore? Show him to us. <laughs> there he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. That is definitely man's Absolutely. The lights begin to go down. And Check out those up. cum gutters. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, here's a map of the uh, the uh, world. Um, the lights begin to go down in the club, and um, there's a, like, a little spotlight on Georgie, who's on stage um, with a microphone, and. Uh, Bessie, I don't know where you admire at at this point. Um, we're close to the stage. We're getting right. We're ready to approach or get up there. Yeah, Georgie. If says, there's like a backstage area, we're doing our final like touch-ups or whatever. Yep, yeah, Georgie. It's Georgie says, uh, 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a last minute uh, special guest has decided to grace us with her, their stylings. Please welcome Bessie Barton and Myra Hertzwala. There's uh, some applause from the, the club. A really like inappropriately loud cheer for her and like <laughs> um, Um, Bessie, to answer your question, um, no, the private message that you sent me. Okay. Um, yeah, so the spotlight hits you and hits Myra on the stage, who's behind the piano now. Um, and if you are ready to make a performance check, we can see how Bessie and Myra... Well, I walk up to the mic and I'm, and it's been a minute since I've performed here, so I... I'm like, well, hello, all you cool cats and kittens. Thank you so much for coming to the Purple Nurple, where uh, I should have come up with a saying for this. I'm sorry. You totally <laughs> stole the Tiger King ladies. Uh... I did. <laughs> where, the, where the drinks are cold and the purples are flurple. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> wow. Uh, Myra and I here are going to perform a song for you, and we uh, we hope you like it. Please have an original song ready. She did. Have what it. did you get? Um, I would like to use a hero point. Tell me what you want. Oh, man. <laughs> it was a 15, so I'm going to use a hero point. Okay. Oh. Oh, but if I roll worse, worse, does that mean it's the second roll? I can't go back to the correct yeah. absolutely but you do have two okay. hero points but i do have two hero points oh my goodness right. oh, no. okay that fell out of the box Hold on. performance oh is okay it, this is good so that's a 17 17 okay and you're gonna stick with the 17 i'm gonna keep it okay. i'm gonna keep it i don't want to do worse this feels like blackjack uh i want to <laughs> stay <laughs> hit me <laughs> okay. um okay so yeah, you guys, um, you you introduce yourself. There's a little clapping and stuff, and then Bessie is ready to uh, perform a song, and Myra begins to play the piano. Um, and Bessie is not only going to dance, and she's going to also sing to this song. Um, I don't have any graphics for it, but I do have a like, just a song to play. Um, out of game. It's not an original. But I just thought it sounded um, this way, so we're going to play it. Myra steps up to the piano. I'm just like... Fly me to the moon And let me play among the stars let me see what spring is like. Yeah, I'm not gonna sing it. You better and <laughs> this is the kind of song where you, you definitely lay on top of the piano. Hold my hand. Oh, I I will at some point. <laughs> Don't ruin my act. Yeah. Walk out to the I might ground, go like, sit on someone's like... lap on the at one of the tables. Yep. Or something. Yeah, no, hold on, Jessica Rabbit. Forever. Yeah. 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 One of the one of the guys in the audience is like uh turn, head turns to a wolf with like whistle. <laughs> Eyes pop out, tongue rolls down. Oh Bessie's on stage, can do uh, go to the bar and check out what their gin situation is. Their gin situation. She wants to go and find out if they make good gin. And if they don't make good gin, if she can sell her gin for this place. She is a fucking always looking to make a buck. Yeah. I know, and she did just give us to give them to us for free. So.
rust colored, like slicked over to the side here. Rust. A little, uh, a little mustache. Yes, I say, hey darling, what kind of gin do you got at this establishment? What kind of gin? And then he reaches behind it and, um, And a glass, and like he like chills the glass with like a um, huge cube, cube of ice, and he pours some in there, and he slides it into you. He's like, I'm making myself. Do you now? Well, we have something in common. I can't wait to find it out. Can I? Can I roll for like perception of the drink if it's good or not? You just drink it. Oh, I'm still good. Yeah. Decide if it's good or not, or do you? <laughs> um, I can tell you that it is. It is good. It's good gin. Um, yeah, it's it's good quality gin. Um, this guy um, is an expert uh, brewer. Uh, I'm sorry, distiller of of gin. Um, so Junebug is very impressed. And she says, listen, I'm going to be honest. I was really hoping that this would be terrible because I also <laughs> make gin and I'm trying to sell my gin. <laughs> but I find nothing wrong with this gin. Oh, it you, is ha uh, you, you have your own distillery uh, that you make gin out of? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, uh, it's more like um, a private setup. Um, nothing fancy. But you know, I do pretty well. Uh, well, like, well, great. I'd love to. I'd love to try it sometime. Um, yeah. Well, I'd love to show you. Uh, what was check. your name again? My name mm. is. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Bar. Bartender. <laughs> Bart. Bart Ender. Bart Ender. Bart Ender. I don't know if you guys knew his last name was Ender. From, uh, was it? From um, yeah, from uh, the last place. That's pretty funny. The, the, the island that you guys were in too. Um, it's funny that I had to look all this up, but uh, his name's Matt. He says Matt. My name's Matt. Oh well, pleasure is all my mind. My, my name is uh, Juniper, but friends call me Junebug. Oh, it's very nice to meet you. He um, sticks out a hand and uh, to shake it, and um, he's like, yeah. I mean, I. You know, I love trying, you know, different things. You know, we could we could look at recipes. I can maybe help you tweak it um, if it needs work or or if it's... Dano comes up behind and shoves uh, Junebug out of the way. Says, hey, excuse me, Garcon. I'd like your finest tequila moonfall. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> a tequila moonfall. And, and he slaps a uh, gold piece down the table. That should cover me for the night. It depends what kind of night you're looking to have, sir. And he takes the gold. And I guess, I don't know, is that a real thing? I don't know. <laughs> it is now. It is now. Better make it. It's like on their specialty. Uh, I just, I was going sunrise, but opposite. Because we're oh, in a okay, fantasy. Okay. Yeah, I got you. So it's, uh, yeah, so he, he, yeah, he mixes you up a drink. Um, but it's like, um, yeah, it looks like a tequila sunrise upside down. Of Ooh. course, there's purple in the sunset. Uh, oh, oh, great. Dagger that Dano. <laughs> hey, the other lady. Uh, gulp, gulp, gulp. <clears throat> That's um, some good shit. <laughs> I throw, I throw the glass back on the on the table, and I walk away. Uh, you both need to make a fortitude save for me, please. Oh, you're gonna be Continue. wasted. Fortitude. Check that fortitude. Check that fortitude. Uh oh. No. He rolled it for me, and so I, I, I don't accept it. <laughs> <laughs> you roll, roll your dice. Yeah. Reset. 
Uh, I got a... Oh, God, thank God. 14 total. 14. I got a 24 total, but okay. that used to be a 4. <laughs> All right, uh, that's fine. You, so you guys are okay. Um, the song ends. Uh, Bessie and Myra are done performing their one song that Georgie allowed them to perform. Um, what? It's, I... That's a great success. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, so the crowd's cheering and stuff? Yep. Crowd's cheering. The guy... I'm... In the clapping back. as hard as I can. The guy in the VIP section is also, he's clapping very hard. He stands up, gives you a standing ovation. Uh, I, I see how hard he's clapping, and I, I clap harder. <laughs> <laughs> like, with my with my robe, with my, like, long robe that I usually wear, like, I, I take a shoulder off, and I say, this is the Soiree Sisters, thank you so much. And we walk off. <laughs> you walk off, yeah. Um, Soiree like, Sisters. As you walk off, um, Georgie walks past you he was he was sweating a little bit but he's delighted um uh he comes uh, he comes past you and says you old son of a gun he kisses you on the lip on oh, the lips the uh the uh the cheeks like each cheek once and then he comes to the microphone yeah. and says one more round of applause for the amazing soiree sisters and uh people continue Woo! to clap i don't know if we have to pay for it these prices <laughs> we got them for free dano <laughs> <laughs> It's Mano. Um, Mano. <laughs> Mano. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then Georgie's at the microphone. He's he's like waving you guys off the stage. Um, yeah. And he says, and and now for our main attraction for the evening, you know them from their hits, Forest Moon and Gin Joint Jive, ladies and gentlemen, Rakath and the Songbirds, and like he claps as um. The songbirds come out. Um, one of them sits behind a piano. Again, one has an upright bass kind of in, towards the back. And then um, one has a trumpet. One's got a trombone. And I was just about to wonder, are they? do they have instruments that use their mouths? Because how do they do that with the masks on? <laughs> There's they, a special, like, tube hole. They, um, right. they, the people with the with the um, with the horns, it looks like they're, they are putting the horns down underneath the mask. Almost as if, like... Um, there might be an opening yeah, underneath um, for them yeah. for their actual. It, so they've got this figured out. They have, they've thought they, about. This. Yeah, they they have put some thought into oh. this. Um, well, I'm amazed either way. I'm just like, how do they do that? This, this better go better than the uh, Sunrise Port show that we saw. <laughs> <laughs> so I do want to. Uh, I do want to concert. We did, yeah, but that was, it was the first episode. <laughs> I forgot. It's the opening credits still. Almost a year ago now. Yeah. Um, yes. I do want to take a little perception check and see how these animals are doing, because I do, I do love animals, and I hate that chain around that big cat's neck. So I also don't like little... that he was like a malnourished looking either. Yeah, yeah can I scooch a little closer to Macklemore? All right. Yeah, Junebug does not like that either, so if you need backup, just let me know. I'll, I'll give like you a, a cat by the end of the night for sure. I'll give you a wink of sorts. Oh. All right, uh, perceptions. So that's going to be fourteen and eight. Quick math. Twenty-two. Um, Twenty-two. So yeah, like this guy in the in the fur coat, he is um, acting a little bit belligerent. Um, yeah, you, you, if you look at the the, the cat, um, it's a uh, it, it's it, it's underfed. Like you can like see a little bit of its like rib cage um, just because. Oof. It, it, and like and every time that um the guy goes like to take a drink um he's like he's pulling on the chain and it's like kind of tugging at the cat a little bit um each uh, i wince every time i, I see a little bit, I of, this guy little bit of uh like a little bit of liquor like sloshes out of his cup and like spills onto the onto the cat um oh, and every God, now and then right. works, every now and then he moves the the uh, glass over to like the bird to like let the bird sniff at it the bird kind of like sticks the beak in there go to sleep to marshall Whips it back and forth. So, I've already had enough. We've we've seen too much already. So I I, 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 start, I start with good intentions. I I walk over to the gentleman. I say, "Lovely animals, sir. I believe is that a caracal? Uh, uh, the feline at your feet." He said. He he turns to you like half. He half turns his head towards you, and he says, "Why don't you mind your own business?" Ah, see, I was just actually, well, I knew that that was a caracal. I just wanted to uh, be 100% sure, but I, I think the bird is lovely as well, and I was just feeling curious. You know what they say, kills cats. 
Fucking people like you. And uh, he takes a sip from his uh, drink, and he says, I've killed worse. I believe it, sir. I believe it. Uh, from the looks of that caracal, it looks like you'll kill more as well. Uh, I just uh, thought I'd ask nicely. It doesn't look very comfortable in those chains. Um, yeah, he kind of ignores you. He, he He's going back. As the um, band starts to like just like play the song, um, and uh, he's continuing to be belligerent um, a little bit. He's like kind of kind of like not heckling but he, he wants he wants uh Rakat and Rakat and the songbirds to play their hits you know that, he's that kind of fan he's yelling free bird yeah stuff like that <laughs> I'm about to free a bird too bitch <laughs> they they continue to play um there's like a, a food sort of club like you can order dinner <laughs> um, there is a kitchen. Yeah, I mean, excuse me, Dr. Stone. What, what fella do I have to blow around here to get myself a steak? <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you talking to Matt, like the bartender? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm talking to you, boy. A steak. Uh, Matt. Matt is just like, um, I could, I could, we could order you a steak if you really, if you like a steak, sir. Uh, you don't have to know below in here, please. This is a nice establishment. Uh, give me a steak. Make sure it's still moving. You got me? And I put another uh, gold coin right there on the table. Bam. On the bar. <laughs> he says, uh, all right, yeah, one, one steak blue. Coming up. No, I don't I don't want it to be blue now. I want, I want it to be red. <laughs> You're not going to trick me. You got me? I got you, sir. I got you. Um... He walks away back uh, towards the kitchen um, to get your order taken care of. <coughs> um, the um, yeah, the songbirds continue to play um, as they get through. They get through about a song and a half, and the um, you notice that the the lights at the club start to like flicker um, as they're like trying. They're just trying to continue to play through it, um, but it's. But they kind of um, are flickering, and it gets worse and worse until the lights go completely out in the club. Oh, scary! <coughs> um, wow. There's a little bit of a panic. Yes. People, people are yelling, screaming. Um, I ask loudly, "Is this part of the show?" <laughs> <laughs> no response. Um, it's just too loud. People are yelling, screaming. People are starting to like to like run a little bit. There's a little bit of a rumbling um, in the club. And the lights come back on. Yeah. And um, when they come back on, you notice in like the open area in front of the stage, a hole has emerged. Um, oh my God. It's the, it's the last concert. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. No. God only has so many moves. <laughs> there, a whole a giant rat. Rat. What? I said giant rat. Giant rat's come out. No. The giant um, rat is. No, a full, uh, there's like a crack, and then a floor um, gives, uh, brings a crack open, and uh, there's a big hole. Uh, some black, misty smoke starts to come out of the crack, and some like crackling electricity is kind of like going around this little this this smoke cloud, and out of the hole, a um, huge oh, pair of um, like very pale white arms outstretch out of the hole. Almost Bruce. like to to hoist, like they 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 like brace with the hands, um, like out of the hole, and out of the hole climbs a giant ethereal, um, looking being. <coughs> uh, it looks like just like a, like a woman with like long white hair. Um, she comes out of this hole, and um, very very ghostly. Um, her, and she reaches out with her voice to you guys, and you guys are just, like, staring. Uh, people are fucking freaking out and, like, running for the doors, um, with the exception of a few, um, the band is still on stage, um, kind of backing, they've stopped playing at this point, um, 
the... I think Myra and I would still be close to the stage. <coughs> okay. Fine. Um, <laughs> I don't even have a, a token for Myra, so... Uh, she's about to get we'll, start we'll, fighting. We'll see. She's with you uh, at this point. Uh, we can put you over here. Um, this 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 thing comes up, and uh, yeah. So, with the exception of the few people that you noticed before, like Georgie is there. Um, he's st sticking around because it's his club, and he's kind of panicking. He's like, <laughs> "I'm never going to financially recover from this." Um, <laughs> and um. The, yeah, the guy with the fur coat is there with his uh, bird and his cat. And uh, the rich guy in the VIP area um, is kind of there, too. Um, the woman kind of reaches her, oh, her arms out to the closest thing to her, which is the guy in the fur coat. And she says, have you seen my son? And she reaches out. Um, like, like almost like she's going to, to grab him and she's like, it starts to turn a little bit like more furious. And she's like, did you take my son? She reaches out and, um, the man in fur, uh, unhooks the chain from the cat and just like wraps it around his fist. And, um, the bird on his shoulder, he kind of shrugs off and lets it hop onto the table. The, the cat runs under the table, um, to hide. And the guy says, fuck your son. And fuck the spirits, and he spits on the floor. And um, Jeez. you guys need to roll initiative. Oh, that's definitely not how I would have handled that situation, Macklemore. Oh, why is the girl like nine <laughs> blocks big? It's a big, oh, ghostly huge. figure. She's it's huge. She's huge. Okay, huge. Ooh, we. Nice, nice glad I wasted. What'd you do? Throw it? Yeah, it like fell on the ground and rolled all Do we the add way anything for perception? No, mm -hmm. right? Just yeah, add perception to your roll. Perception, yeah. Oh. oh. Twenty-seven. <laughs> Fucking Holy initiative God. rolls. Nice roll, though. I hate it. I hate going first. Uh -huh. Twenty-seven. I rolled a nineteen. Nineteen. 17. I rolled a 13. I got a 14. Okay. Well, uh, pardon me. Reorder Can I make a perception check? Uh, you just did. Can I do it right now before like the initiative actually starts? Yeah, go ahead. Nope. I'm, I, I just want to see how the guy in the suit is reacting and how the band is reacting. Oh, that's a nine. A nine. Um, it's a little bit like the smoke is kind of clouding you, so you can't quite see um, how they're reacting. And this guy. Oh, we rolled a net. 20. It's still not high enough. Uh, uh, you don't go to know this guy's name. I'm going to call him VIP. What was his name? No, that's his name. Vip Vipperson. Vip, Vip Vipperson. Vip Vipley, actually. Vip Vipley. There you go. Of the... Of the New England Vipleys. Do you know of any others? Not any I care to know. Ah, VIP. See, you didn't even bother to put furry there. Oh, for God. I was going to say, he's already dead. Okay. Mm, mini drumsticks. Oh, wait, I got to add a um, cat. She poisoned him. Cat, cat, where are you? Poison. 
They're leper cones. What's a cat? Cones made from real lepers. Oh, cat. That's how you know it's good. Mm hmm. There's a lot in initiative today, guys. There's a lot of people in there. Fur coats got initiative. We took so long to get started. I'm sorry. It's fine. Songbirds have initiative. You know, I'm also sorry. He's fighting. Here we go. Initiative order. Got it. That ghost will be dead before she gets turned. Um, so... Where's the cat? Oh, there's a cat. Um, sorry. So, this, um... Is a, a, a big, a big, um, kind of haunting spirit, um, here. <coughs> Just kind of asking the guy in the fur coat if he's, if he took his son. Is this similar to like the other multi spirits we've dealt with in the yeah, so other camp? You, uh, yeah, you can kind of choose what you want to do here. So, like, you can, I'll tell you, just like in, in terms of the encounter, you can attack this spirit um, if you'd like to. Um, you could also, you, you can also make attempts to, like, um, like kind of, um, ha like, make pe like, have it uh, calm down, calm down the spirit. Um, make peace right. with it. Um, Spirit bend. Kind of like plead with it um, <clears throat> on your turn. Um, yeah, or I mean, if you can, if you straight up want to punch a ghost, you can also try to do that. So, um, what are the what are the roles for like appeasing the spirit? So you can roll um, occultism or religion. Um, or religion. Occultism. You could roll athletics to try to just like. Man, mine all suck for all the ones you said. Like, kind of try to hold Smack back, um, or you know, try to like, um, um, physically restrain it in some way. And I use deception. And you can also use and, diplomacy, or intimidation. D diplomacy to like try to talk directly to it, like religion, occultism. You can like pray. Um, better. You know, for kind of intervention or some sort of understanding. Got you. Uh, okay. So, uh, Luca, you are the first to act. Fantastic. Well, my thoughts are on uh, the animals, uh, yeah. getting them safe. Okay. So can I, I don't know if there's a distance on uh, speak with animals. Uh, or, you speak with uh, animals? I'm a fucking druid, man. Liza. Thornberry. Speak with animals. Where is that? Is that? Uh, let's see. See animal empathy. I have a connection to the creatures of the natural world that allows me to communicate with them in a rudimentary level. I can ask questions of, receive answers from, and use the diplomacy skill with animals. In most cases, wild animals will give you time to make a case. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you can. Yeah, you can. If you want to talk to the animals or like communi kind of communicate to them, or should uh, I, I kill whatever, your... whatever you want to say? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I just want to let them know uh, we're we're coming to get them, and they don't have to worry for much longer because we're gonna make sure they're out of the the hands of the bad guy. So they'll they'll know when to act. Basically, that's my message. You're saying it to both, <laughs> you're saying it to both of them. Yeah. Okay, you can make a um, yeah diplomacy uh, roll. All right, diplomacy. Let's go. Eh, not as good as it, I wanted it to be. That's a ten. Oof. Gotcha. The um, yeah, the 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 caracal um, just continues to kind of like sit under the table. Doesn't want part of this action anyway. Scaredy cat. The bird uh -huh. um just kind of is looking at you, trying to talk to it, and like kind of like tilts its head to the side. Um, kind of squawks a little bit. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure that got through. <laughs> um, so I will count that as just like one action for you if you want to you do two other actions if you'd like cool um, I, I kind of want to like hurt this guy but I want to let the ghost do it too um, I guess I'm going to be a dickhead and waste my initiative and in, in, can I hold the other action you or can, once I started, can I not? You, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can hold, like, if you want to hold your, 
last two actions you can. It's just it's gonna change your place in initiative order uh, if you do that. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Um. So then. Um. Okay. Uh. The guy in the VIP section. Um. He is going to. Spoil his pants. He's gonna pull a gun. A gun. And he's also gonna pull out a knife with his other hand. Um, and he's gonna load the gun, and that's gonna be his whole action. Um, oh, it's now the bird's turn. He brings a gun into a like a establishment. It's not even loaded. What a dumb me, I hate this guy. <laughs> um, this is the bird's turn. Uh, bird is going to <laughs> bird. Bird. Bird, 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 and bird is the bird. Bird is going to um, charge at this ghost and no, not the ghost. Try to bite it, like try to like peck at it with the beak. It's like a wild water. Um, that's gonna be a hit. I don't even know what Um, yeah, the bird, like, kind of pecks. It kind of, like, the beak goes into this, into the spirit, and, like, the, as, like, the re reaching hand goes towards the, um, the furco guy, and, uh, it kind of, like, pulls back a little bit after taking a little bit of a bite from this bird. Um, and that's all the bird's gonna do. So, Bessie, that's your turn. Um... It's actually gonna move. Bird, bird, bird. Bird, bird, bird. I'm going to turn to the band uh -huh. and ask them to get off the stage and away from the ghosts. Like, guys, come this way, come get, get, get off the stage, get off, come follow me. Okay. Um... And then I'm going to... Your pants. I'm gonna count that as an action because you're asking them to do something specific. Yeah. yeah. Do I need to like roll persuasion or something? Um. No, I mean you can, they're you, just can gonna... roll, you can roll diplomacy. I mean I don't know, like if you're lying to them or if you're no, you're I'm I'm just telling them to get off the stage, but like away from the like let's get out of the sight of the ghost. Get off the stage. You can roll diplomacy to them. Like again, I didn't get to perceive if they were freaking out or if they were like they're not freaking. They, you look at them and they look they they're not like they're fairly calm in this situation. Okay, well, I'll roll for the off the stage. Um, you said diplomacy? Yep. 18? Okay. Um, yeah, they kind of look towards you, and they, they give you a nod. Uh, they don't speak back. Um, I guess they would move on their turn. Yeah, they can't move right now, so... Right, okay. Um... And, okay, so that was one action. I'm going to... Can I try to... Make an occultism check to see if I can figure out what this ghost is about and what to do to stop it? You can do an occultism Staff check. about her son. To, to try to you're not going to be able to to find out more about who this is just <clears throat> just doing an occultism check but you can do that to try to like call like talk, talk to it or yeah give it some sort of reassurance. i want to try to like diplomatically figure out what it's what it's doing here even though what's his face just pulled out a gun and a knife mm -hmm. maybe we can defuse the situation before Oh, oh. Yeah. 
That's a nine. The, uh, so, what, what do you do? You say something in particular to the spirit? Um. um yes. What in particular do you say to the spirit? <laughs> Sorry. What is it? I what say. I try to. I try to kind of like flattered, I guess. And I'm like, magnificent spirit, please tell us who who, you're see who are you looking for? How can we help you? Now, what was your role again? Nine. A nine, okay. <laughs> uh, so it, it kind of turns um, to look over its shoulder at you and starts to reach a hand out. It says, have you seen my son? Did you take my son? So cool. Rich. So its attention is all on me. Is that two actions that I've done now? Yep. Um. <laughs> One is Myra just like out of? She's not. She's not concerned. Yeah, she's in a safe spot. She. You can assume she ran. <coughs> okay. Um. Myra just left you high and dry. I, I even, said. I need roll initiative for Jordy. He's not going to do anything either. He's just there. I just I um, had a token for him, so I put him on there. Okay, so now she's she's doing this. First. Can I cast Soothe on her? Will that do anything? I'm not going to tell you if it does anything. But well, I also, it's two actions. I can't do it. Right. Um... Mark. I'm just gonna because now she's just like looking at me. I'm gonna move, I guess, a little bit. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna message whoever's closest to me in the gang and be like, "Fuck, fuck, fuck, come on, fuck." Uh, that's because gonna, now she's reaching her hand out to me. <laughs> that's going to be Luca is the closest to you. Okay. Um, <laughs> and that's your, yeah, that's your last action. So I don't know uh, what else to do. I don't want to attack her, you know. I don't know what she's about. I think uh, we should attack her. Trace, that's you. Wait, I think I'm going to try to, like, stop this VIP guy with his, with his weapon. I try to, like... Intimidate him to stop what he's doing. Uh, yeah, just tell me what you do. I do like a coercion, like, uh, we like you need to stand down, sir. You don't know what's going on here yet. Yeah, I mean, you can you can do that. Like, I don't think like... this guy's gonna respond kindly to sir. Sir was his father's name. He's Vip, <laughs> yeah. and his father was sir. Mr. I, don't this, I don't know this asshole's name, but he looks like a tool. But, uh, so, so I'm going to call him like, nicely. Draw attention yourself to him. So and like, I'm going to like go, yeah, go over like close enough to him and like ask him or tell him to like stand down uh, and so, try to like do like an intimidation thing. Yeah, you could make like coercion. What's your what's your move speed? Uh, let's see. I'm like one. Um, twenty five. Yeah. Yeah, so you could get as far as this table, and he could hear you from here. Um, and you can, yeah, you can make an intimidation check. Sweet, Bessie. Ooh. Is uh, is sixteen enough, or should I use a hero point? Sixteen. Sixteen is enough to be successful. Um, okay, cool. So you intimidate him. He kind of like. He was getting ready to aim the gun, like, kind of towards this um, ghost spirit, uh, and he kind of, like, brings it down a little bit, um, listening to you. Um, so you cool. can do... I'll let you do one more action. Oh. I didn't, I didn't think... I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> <laughs> you can give up. Didn't think it would work. I take out a white flag... 
just raise the foy flag and give up. I don't think there's anything I can do with the ghost. Um, you said we could do like some kind of like X on the ghost. You, you said we could use uh, diplomacy on the ghost. You could use yep. diplomacy. Try to see like what's going on. Like if we could help. But oh, if I have done diplomacy, it would have been like who her. Is, could she give us any more information about like, who her son is? Try to ask diplomacy. You gotta, you gotta ask the yeah, chick. That's what I mean. Can I, can I ask? You can ask. Good. With diplomacy. With very politely to her, I won't call her sir. Right, but you have to do it. Is what I'm saying. You have to role play. I'm asking. Okay. Ma- How should I call her, madam? What should I call her, madam? Go Miss, we would love to help you. Uh, can you tell us who your son is? Um, y- you can make the diplomacy check. Yeah. Ooh, twenty-two. You son of a diplomat, you. <laughs> that was one of my better rolls. Um. So she turns. She's turning towards Bessie, like to ask and reach out about her son um she continues to turn towards you as you ask about like who her son is and like a a tear comes down her face and she just says my son is missing and someone took him from me (laughs) um yeah so not helpful not helpful um yeah so okay so so that's about all she's gonna tell you um with that um, Fair. It is now the ghost's turn. Um, oh, Why did I talk to her for my turn? <laughs> That's why I was like, "Shit, fuck, fuck, fuck!" That's just gonna come after me. It's moving. Immediately, everybody. Just right about here. Um, the ghost reaches out one hand and grabs the bird. Not the bird. Oh shit. And reaches with the other hand and grabs um, Bessie. And That's starts a long to arm. squeeze them. Okay, that's bad for the bird. <laughs> and it's for Bessie. Alright, so Bessie, you take five points of damage. Um, bird? bird uh, more than that and um, you squeeze the bird squeeze Bessie and um, you um, uh, Lucas since you're paying attention more to the uh, this animal handler you can make a perception check all right on him nat 20 nat 20 um, when the bird was squeezed by this ghost it hurt this guy in the first coat. Oh. Ooh. A Warcraft. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Did y'all see that? I, I uh, not so loudly, but I, I kind of try to tell the people close to me, like, I think, I think they're connected. Um, so... His soul is in that bird. <laughs> so yeah, um, we were trying to save the animal. Squeeze you guys. Um, she squeezes you, but like as she, as she squeezes That's you painfully, um, the uh, yeah. the the arms also like kind of dissipate through you, and you fall out of her grasp. So she's not holding on to you. Me. To, right. Yeah. Sorry, I was I was Marshall's kicking the crib wall. Um, He's still not asleep. Uh, Dano, that's your action. Well, all right. Uh... Well, let's see first. Uh, was the service in this here club any good? Is my stake here? Stake, stake, stake. <laughs> uh, I'll, flip the, I'll flip the... I'm going to roll this in the square of despair. Oh, square <laughs> of despair. You can test it out. Did the stake arrive? <laughs> the square of despair. Um, I I'm, the actually, I, have, I just have the yes, no coin. Is that cool if I just flip it in there? Sure. Did the steak arrive? Yes, your steak has arrived. Where is right. the thing? It's gonna be on, uh, the, on the stream. It'll come up on the sc- on the screen. Hey, I see it now. Yeah. Here um, we go. 
I feel like you should wait for us to confirm that it came up before you do it so that we can. Uh, ah, no. it is. Uh, hey. Just so that we can yeah. see it when you go to do it. All right. I'll leave it. Here. <laughs> I, uh, here's, my, here's a question then. Where is the token for the stake? <laughs> it's, about it's about to become very important. Um, well, no. I did not touch my stake. It came out, but it's been sitting in Go to sleep, Marshall. So, uh, what Dano's gonna do, he's gonna say, finally I can drop that fucking accent. And uh, <laughs> he's gonna pick up his stake in one hand, uh, 10 yeah, gallon hat in the other hand. Okay. And he's gonna wave the stake. It, he's gonna try to move up to like a little past Luca and wave the stake at the caracal. And be like, here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> <laughs> A nice raw thing for you, me boy. So you're going to move over here um, <laughs> and try to beckon the cat um, to come to you with the stake. Um, you can uh, give me a diplomacy roll. Um, you can roll with advantage right. because you have a stake in your hand. <laughs> you have a stake. Um, <laughs> twenty-three is the first roll, and second roll oh, is fourteen. So twenty-three. Twenty-three. For yeah. the form. Okay. Yeah. This. Um. You see the cat starts like licking his lips, um, looking at this juicy hunk of meat, and the stake. Um. And the stake. <laughs> um, All right. Um, I put the steak in the hat. It's a 10 gallon hat. And I leave it on the ground. Okay. And then I'll save my last action for if the cat happens to go get the steak in my hat, then I'm going to grapple it to where I capture it in the hat. Gotcha. Okay. So you're going to hold your action until after the. the I'll leave a caracal in a 10 gallon hat. Um, so we'll, we'll see if that works out. And uh, don't forget, Luca, you still have two actions that you were holding. Um, yeah, I was going to go after Fur Coat. Okay, gotcha. Um, Junebug. How do you follow that? <laughs> um, okay, so if I rolled an occultism check, mm -hmm. what kind of information can I get from this spirit? So you're not looking to get information from the spirit with an occultism check. You are looking to calm it, really, is what you're looking to do. Um, mm -hmm. To stop it from attacking, mind, like, kind of mindlessly um, the people in here. Um, it would cause less of a ruckus. Because um, right now, that's uh, what's happening. Like, because, like, Drace didn't get the information from his check um, when trying to talk to it, so... It seems more okay. like, yeah, you need to... I'd like to try to calm the spirit with my knowledge of occultism. Um, okay, yeah, you can make a occultism check. Um, and then if you're going to say something in particular, feel free. Uh, I got a 27. Yeah, but... So, Ooh, nice. Very good. Um, nice. I'd say... I'd say... Calm. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Crazy. You're acting crazy. Tranquilo. And also, like, Boomer is also, like, <laughs> saying the same thing. <laughs> Calm. Uh, that's all That's all that you guys have. Um, Perfect. Um, okay, great. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, you have two actions remaining. Um, so, did anything happen? Um, you can see that, um, the spirit, like, the hair that's been, like, wild has gone down a little bit, um, is a little, it does see, appear to have been successful, um, a little bit more calm. Okay. Um, if I did it two more times, do you think she'd be the most <coughs> calm she's ever been in her uh, You can only do it once per turn, so, you, yeah, you can't do it. Oh. Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, then... I would like to, let's see, I think, 
I'd like to just end my turn there. Okay. You don't, you Unless won't... everybody, ha uh, someone that has like a suggestion, but that sounds like. Go to sleep, I'm... kid. <laughs> you should throw your bomb at her. No. <laughs> <laughs> we all throw our bombs together. I'm out of ideas. I, I use most of it on the cat thing. Um, I Is she like with the bird too? Yeah, he looked at, yeah, she looked at the bird. So I, I changed my mind. I Now that she's a bit more calm, I'd like to ask her the same questions that people have been asking her, but when she was, you know, manic. Um, <sighs> I'd like to ask her, who is your son? What's he do? Um, she... Um... She turns towards you, just like more, a little bit more calmly. <coughs> Says, um, "My son, the light of my life, d has dwelled too long in the realm of man." Uh, that's about all that you'll get from her. Um, hmm. um, that's gonna end your turn. Is that right? Uh, one more? yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, you can move if you want, or you can just, yeah, you can just call there, whatever you want. I'm calling it. Okay. Um, guy in the fur coat, um, <laughs> he says, he says, fuck this. And he pulls a hand back and, um, um, produces a ball of flame. And he oh, is going that? to, um, shoot a uh, flaming sphere at the spirit. Um, okay. Yeah, so he so he produces a big ball of fire and uh, launches it at the spirit. It hits the spirit. Um, the spirit kind of blocks it with an arm. Um, so now there's just like flame coming off the arm and she starts wailing, um, kind of in pain and anger, um, from this fire. Um, that's good. I'll attack this fucking dude. I'm like, nice fireball. That's awesome. <laughs> Actually, out there. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good breath. He is going to. He's going to use message. He's going to send. He's going to uh, attempt to talk to the um, the songbirds on the stage, but he kind of whispers it so you guys don't hear what he says. Um, that's the end of his turn. Um, it is now the uh, Rackath and the songbirds' time to act. They... No, let me go instead. Oh, good. Sorry. Yeah, I will. Uh... So she's on fire. He used a message to say something to the songbirds. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. Weird. All right. What I would like to do is give the ghost my personal rain cloud to put out the fire on her arm. Okay. Man, who knew that so I get I get to conjure a five foot wide rain cloud that follows the target wherever it goes. So we're going to put the fire in her, on her arm out. Perfect. And I only have one more move, so is the is fur coat guy, like, distracted? Could I, like, get behind him? Closer to the uh, the animals, but, like, behind him? Yeah, uh, yeah. If you if you want to, like, be sneaky about it, you can, or you can just go, you can make take your movement, whatever you want to do. Yeah, I kind of want to like sneak around like the perimeter as much as I can in how many ever I got what 25 feet. You can get right One, you can get right behind him um, if you want to do a sneak. Yeah, like make a stealth check. All right. Oh, let's go. 17 stealth. Yeah, okay. So you sneak over relatively quietly. Yeah, he doesn't really notice as you get up behind him. He's too distracted by the 
super awesome f- flaming sphere that he just threw at this big okay. beast. Um, cool. That has. And that's my turn. Like as you walked over, you kind of like put it out uh, with your rain cloud. Okay. Um, oh wait, does she have a rain cloud or do I have a rain cloud? She, she does, right? You put it over her. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was making sure you said when you walked over, it went out. So, never mind. I was yeah, confused. I meant, like you kind of cast it at, uh, on your way over there. Um, gotcha. That's the end of your turn. So now's the rat captain, the songbird's turn. Um, they, listening to Bessie, are going to uh, come down towards her at the end of the stage. Oh, shoot. Yeah, these tokens is not that you have. Um. <coughs> they are going to do a few things. Um. First, they're going to Um, you can, you see as they, um, they're still like, the, the horn players are still holding their instruments and, um, they begin to just like kind of slowly play it. Um, one of the guys, just like the other two guys are just kind of like snapping their fingers along in like a very, um, very catchy way as they cast um they all cast guidance on um what's the range on guidance 30 feet so one of them cast guidance on on bessie uh, uh, that's really the only person they can reach uh yeah the rest of you are fucking out of range Actually, they ca- one of them cast uh, guidance on on Luca. Um, just barely. And they just Take they're it. just they're just like playing like this melodic like little tune um, along to it. Oh, no, hey, that's fine. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's all they're gonna do. Um, as they they're gonna all kind of come down towards the end of the stage um it's now the kitty cat's turn yeah where are you what's over there kitty cat is going to um sneak towards this uh hunk of meat in front of the hat or in the hat it's in the hat right yeah in the hat. Cats love going inside of things. There's one thing I know. Uh, yep, it tries to be sneaky about it. It kind of does like a little butt wiggle thing and then just kind of pounces over and starts like chewing on the meat. <coughs> that activates my trap card and I go to like sort of Grab like the brim of the hat and like close it around, like catching a cat in a in a bag, some would say, or a hat. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. You catch you, you catch the cat in the hat. Cat in the hat. Um, hey. um, I'm assuming gently enough that like it's hungry, so it's uh it's still eating this meat even though it's been bagged in a hat. Um, Fantastic. Could not, would not. Um, all right, so I gotta move, I gotta move some initiative around. Hold on. So, Furco and Luca, and then Dano, you're gonna go at the end now. Okay, um, guy in the VIP section is gonna hold his action. Um, it's now the bird. Um, the bird is the word. Bird is going to, um, 
fly over to this particular songbird. What happened to Vip? He, he's holding his action. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Um, and this bird is going to try to slice at one of the songbirds um, with, a, with a talon as it's flying past. It's a mean bird. Why is it just attacking random people? Uh, I think it's random. It just crit against this uh, longer. Oh, well. Uh, it did uh, some damage. Uh, From one bird to another. The sparrows send their regards. <laughs> Um, and then, uh, so it also knocks, uh, the one guy prone, um, so he falls over from being slashed with a talon. Oh, is he down, you said? He's pr prone. He, he's, like, knocked okay. down. Not, not, uh, not unconscious. Just not okay. prone. Um, and then the bird, um, it's going to move a little bit away from this ghost. Um, Bessie, it's back to you. Okay. I am changing my plan entirely now. Um, I am going to, uh, okay, I'm going to, um, You wouldn't consider the bird an object, would you? No. Why were you gonna try to do this? I was gonna try to just like grab the bird with my telekinetic hand. That will not work. Um You could do it, but it will break free of it immediately. An interesting thing was said by the ghost. I want to do something about that, but we're supposed to protect the songbirds at any cost. So... I am going to... I'm gonna do telekinetic projectile. And I'm assuming they're like I'm right by like a table or something, so I'm assuming there's like a like a bottle of booze or something yeah, there. Sure. sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm go or like a chair or something. Like I'm it says within range that has one bulk or less at the target. So I could do a chair. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna telekinetic throw a chair at this fucking bird. Alright, cool. Yeah, go ahead and make a spell attack roll. And when I do, I'm gonna be like, leave them alone! I like how we've all decided we love the cat but hate the bird. <laughs> like, and we didn't even need to say it. Um. Thirteen? Thirteen is not enough. You can use a hero point if you like. No. Um. So you 
throw the chair. It uh, lands just short, and the bird looks at it and looks at you. Like, cause I'm not trying to like kill the bird, cause I think it's attached to the fur coat guy, and I don't really know what's going on there. But I want it to like almost like scare it. So can it also be like an intimidation type thing? As one at like, or is that two separate things? Uh, I'll let you. I mean, you're not trained in intimidation. You can make an intimidation check with the chair. That you oh, I'm not. But you can do it. You can try to see if it intimidates. No. It's six. Yep. The, the, the bird just squawks, raises its wings a little bit. Okay. Uh, then I would like to do a diplomacy check on this ghost again. Okay. And. I'm gonna like after I throw the chair at the bird, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to her because um she said the thing about her son being in the in this what did she say? She said oh, uh, she, the realm of man. She's been at the dwelled realm of too man. long in the realm of man. Too long. Spirit Lord, is there anybody who has a. I don't know. I don't think she's a god. No. Unless. I don't know. I'm almost wondering if it's Jeffrey's mother. Jeffrey? Um, so I'm going to try and do like a diplomacy check. No, Kinsor is like... who we fought in uh, Sunrise Port. Yeah. I'm going to reach out my hand to her. I'm going to say... Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think how I want to word this. I'm going to reach out my hands to her and be like... Um, I'm going to say, Mama Sam, Mama Kusa. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, like, on the spot, improvisation is hard. Uh, I'm gonna reach out my hands to her and say something like, I believe the majority of us do not wish to harm you. Please tell us more about your son. We might be able to help you find him and return him to you. Make a diplomacy check. Oh. I'm gonna use a different die. 17? <laughs> 17 to 16, okay. Um, uh -huh. You say this to her right after she got hit with a fireball and then it got put out by the rain cloud. And, um... It's still raining on her, by the way. Yeah, it's still raining, it's still raining on her. And, uh... She turns back to you again and says... All wet and drippy. humans deserve each other and she begins to grow all right fuck this bitch <laughs> throw diplomacy out the window she's mad because she was just attacked and got hit pretty hard um yeah so attacked, i will say that that, was, we... that was a failure um your diplomacy if it wasn't fair if we attack uh um, for Kurt guy. That's why I'm right behind him. Um, that is going to be Drees. I'm coming to I'm coming to get that fur coat, motherfucker. You don't that trust fur me. Fur coat wearing I mean, some. Are you gonna Oko him? Seems like he's friends with the songbirds, and we're friends with the songbirds. Yeah, but his bird just attacked a songbird. Yeah, he just messaged the songbirds, and directly after what his bird attacked them. So I don't think he is friends with them. Yeah. Something sucks. By a spooky post. Maybe Bessie's possessed. Maybe what? Are you possessed? <laughs> Are you ghost? I didn't hear what you said. Say it again. Are you possessed? I don't think so. Oh, you're possessed. We don't that's, even know. That's what someone who's possessed would say. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Someone would say. They're in the it, same I... house. They could be sending secrets back and forth. Oh no. I trust Bessie. I trust Bessie, but I trust this ghost Bessie. 
<laughs> Bessie Boo. What's Bessie young? Boo. Oh man, if I, I ever become a ghost, I'll be Bessie Boo. Say again? Yeah. What's the VIP guy doing now? Can I like make a perception check on him? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, 19. Um, you see that he sat back down on the couch and crossed his legs and is just taking <laughs> just a sip of his drink. Pissed his pants. <laughs> he's just washing now? Yeah. Okay. Well, he's taking no longer. Okay. All right. Let's, let's, uh, start to make my way over towards this, uh, fur coat guy. But let's go, like, up and around. Start to go up and around the ghost. Like, up, up towards, um, Junebug. <laughs> Maybe like, like throw like a, uh, like picture a, uh, a. Oh my God! What's this? The knight in chest, like an extra space, like up three into the left instead of two. L shape. Yep. Okay, like like, like it's at an angle, at a left, left angle from um, from Junebo. Okay. Up there. Next, like yep. in front of Boomer. Yep, that's perfect. I didn't know I was that was Boomer. Yep. There and that that my does the perception check take an action too? No, I will make sure. That. Okay. I try to do something to the I try to take a are you already flanking? Is a um is Luca already flanking? Uh or, or, Yeah. Or, I mean he's I'm behind him. He's so flanking if you want to get but like that's not gonna affect your the you because he just doesn't see Luca. Right, right. That's why I don't want to do anything that makes him see him. What else to do? I don't know what else I could do to the ghost. I don't really have any. Other, none of the rolls worked. Well, she. I. I don't think that's as big as she gets. I feel like she makes. Yeah, it yeah right. Soon she's gonna be like a whole fucking like board. <laughs> yeah, that's just wishful thinking, you guys. I don't, I don't think attacking her is the answer. She's gonna be bigger. He's I mean, a ghost of wishful thinking. Yeah, you know, like the uh, the fur coat guy seems the most hostile in all of this uh, this, this establishment at this point. Right. I figured <laughs> if I take him out, then we can we can calm her down a little bit. Like maybe we can knock him out or something. I'm a. I was gonna try to um, tear out his Achilles with my gouging claw. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, I, I mean, that's what I was planning on. I like it. I don't like it. I don't see what kind of range I've got. Much stuff. Also, I can add. I can add range to all my spells now. I'm a freaking champion. Oh shit! That takes like it would take an action. Yeah, it would take an action, so I wouldn't be able to do it this turn. I already moved. Let me see what my range on this. So I can. I'm still within sixty feet now, right? Like if I if I did something to him, would it hit Dano in the face? Or could I like aim it around him? You can aim around him. Okay. okay. I'm, yeah, bent I'm bent down, down over a, a hat full of cat. Okay. Let's uh, let's do like a flashing gust at a uh, at fur coat guy. Uh, oh. You're just attacking him? Or are you attacking him and Birdo? Just him. Just him. But I, I but really I'm attacking no one because I rolled a 10. 10 and yeah, I don't think it's going to do it. Um, so you like, you, you like slashing gusts, like a gust of wind goes through and like blows through his hair and makes him like look really cool. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Try my best. It's and bad. I just get like a huge whiff of his awful cologne. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, the ghost is going to. Um, this is still like now back on the on the attack. It's just gonna say, "Where is my son?" and reach out. And it's going to grab the fur coat guy. Nice. And with the other hand, it's going to grab um, Dano. That was. Oh. I slipped. 
I slide. <laughs> Good try. Slide to the left. Slide to the left. That's gonna be nine points of damage to Dan. I, I can't use a uh, slippery play, uh, prey to escape bonds more easily. It's mm -hmm. um. It's just a happens. Oh, well, that's cool. It's, you're not attempting an escape um, because, like, she she grabs you and squeezes you and then lets you go. Um, she turns the theory, her arms right. turn theory, and drops you. Nine points of damage. Um, that is it for Ghost Jewbug. Back to you. Okay. Um, can I get within thirty feet of Macklemore? Back yes, you only have to move one space to do so. Okay. Can I do it so that I'm kind of behind the bar, or like see these tables, like so that I'm like kind of, you know, like protected by them? But, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Get some cover. Okay. And then, um, so you said that the spirit let. Both Macklemore and Dano go, or yeah, let them both go. I love how we're just calling them Macklemore. <laughs> um, it's better I'd than like his real name, so. to attempt to cast a uh, flourishing flora on Macklemore, um, but to, if possible, to avoid the gut in the process. Appreciate you. Okay. Let's call him. Let's just call him Mac. Mac Lamore. Yeah, you can you can avoid him. Yeah, it's a five foot burst, so you can just like pick the squares, not touching. Uh, okay. Luca, okay. Um, okay. And then what type of flora are you flourishing? Um, I am doing roots. Roots. Nice. Them roots. Funny. That's exactly what I was regretting uh, passing over. I was like, I wish I had those freaking roots right now. Yeah. Freaking roots. My freaking roots. Uh, freaking roots. How do I know that? Yeah, 55. Yeah. Um, yeah, he, uh, he succeeds. So, like, he's going to... Um, I'm sorry, he, he fails, so he's not going to fall prone, but it's not a critical failure. So it is going to do full damage. Uh, so 2d4? 2d4, Okay, first one is four. And next one is one. So five. five. Um, yeah, so you so these roots um, come out of the ground and, and hit him around the legs. <coughs> um, he did not see where they came from, so he didn't see that you did that. Um, because they kind of just grew out. Um, uh, Bessie, make a perception check on the bird that you tried to throw this chair at. <laughs> As you're staring at it. What's my perception again? Plus six now? Um, I don't freaking know. Yes, so 16. Yeah. Um, so you see that when these roots hit for uh, Macklemore guy, um, the bird actually winced in pain. Um, but not him. He he did too. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, all right. So now we're gonna go back to. Uh, 
Macklemore guy is going to take all three actions to shoot magic missiles at the spirit. So he does that. Uh, he uses all three actions. He shoots um, three missiles just out of his hand, just like magically fire out of him, um, like little bolts of energy, and explode into uh, the spirit. Pew pew pew. Uh, Luca, that's you. All right. <clears throat> so he just shot three magic missiles right in front of me. Yep. Yet again, at this spirit that we're not trying to. We're not currently trying to harm. So I guess I should just fuck him up, right? Or do the do the vines stay or is it just damaged and then goes away? Um, it is. I mean they don't they're not like uh holding him or anything, right? No, it's just damaged. Damage. Gotcha. It's just like a one Alright, well I know this is supposed to be a uh a ranged attack, but it's my first use, so I'm not really uh, well versed in it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do it how I want. I'm gonna do a purifying icicle, okay. and kind of just jam it into the back of his neck. Yeah, like fucking spike it right down there. Okay. Um, yeah, make a make a your spell attack. Okay. Come on. Come on, baby. All right, 23. 23 is going to hit. Um, does it, it does not so it's, crit him, though. Um, but yeah, you can go and roll damage. Cool. That's 2d6 piercing and 1d6 cold. All right, piercing. That's fucking stupid. Three. <laughs> Awful. And four cold. <laughs> That's only one action. That's two. The group provides is two. Yes, it is. One remaining. Why does it say one right there? No, I guess it's just uh, rank one. I guess it's just rank one. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I feel like he's probably gonna be pretty mad at me, so I'm I'm gonna get my shield out. This first time using your shield too, I think, right? So. Yeah. Breaking out the buckler. Cool. Um, it's now the songbirds' turn. Um, they're continuing to play their music. Um, they are gonna play like very like uh, loudly some music to you guys to inspire you guys um, to give you all like plus one to like your attack rolls, damage rolls, and saves uh, for one round. <coughs> So you guys are all oh yeah i was also i was i had guidance from one of the songbirds oh yeah i had guidance too i forgot did you see it i don't think my rolls like plus one would have gotten me where i needed uh, no. i mean i i would just add add one more damage to oh uh, no wait is it on attack, the is for your attack roll. yeah it's attack it's not damage uh Since I didn't use guidance before, is it like on my 
it was on my next attack, so I used it sort of. Yeah, we'll just count that. Yeah, yeah, that you used it. Um, okay. But you're you're inspired now, so next time you'll. Yeah. Um, the cat is in the hat, happily eating a steak. Um, Dano, it's you. Okay. Um, is George able to see this, or is he like behind a wall? He can see it. He can see it. He's just. He's not even uh, I yell out at, out at Georgie. Hey, Georgie, is this uh, someone you recognize? You know, you know, a previous owner, perhaps, or old legends? <laughs> uh, yeah, he. Uh, he's like, uh, no, I don't, I don't think so. All right, then we're gonna have to go for Plan B. You guys figure this out, and I pick up the cat in the hat, uh, sort of. Like, like this is the cat bag, and then I, I have one hand here, sort of a football hold, like that. Yep. And uh, I'm going to run at the ghost and sort of do a baseball slide into the hole, under the ghost. <laughs> you nice. slide into the hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, great. Classic dink. Uh, you could certainly do We that. don't know if the cat is connected to the VIP guy, though, yet. Right? We haven't seen that. You mean, do you mean Macklemore guy? Uh, yeah, 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 we yeah. haven't seen that. And it didn't like make a noise when, or at least didn't notice it making a noise when he got hit, so. <coughs> um, all right, so you slide under, under the spirit into the hole. Which I assume is like into a I'm basement. Mostly. It goes into the Dude, basement the underneath the club. Is the spirit, son. Um, all right, so you're in the hole. Uh, Is it like a basement down here? Yeah, it's like a basement. It's like very dark. Um, Is there a hole underneath the basement? Like, did the ghost just come from the basement? (laughs) Um, hard to say where the ghost came from. There's no other hole in this basement. It's uh, but it's very dark. Okay. Uh, Regular basement. And was that that? It was everything I got. I mean, unless there's something else you want to do in this basement. Um, I'm going to do a quick, uh, like, spin in place and, like, look around to see if there's any, uh, I don't know, like, skeletons stuck under barrels or, you know, the weirdly shaped walls yeah, that, you, like you, someone got trapped downstairs. You could make a perception check. All right. Just a quick perception check. Ain't no thing. Alright, 18 plus 6, 24. Yeah, so um, you see some barrels. You see like um, some like distilling equipment down here, like some copper um, uh, like I can't even name for it. Uh, just like distilling equipment. There's like tubes like going like, from place to place down here. It looks like this is probably where Matt makes his uh, alcohol. Um, there are some barrels as well, just like with just like raw materials for um, making stuff, and uh, no, no skeletons or anything. Uh, some cobwebs. No, stuff, like but... suspicious old lady-shaped holes or anything. Like that. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, All right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, that is gonna be the VIP. This is gonna sip his drink. Um, bird is going to go. Um, bird. Is going to fly over to Bessie and try to take a little chomp of Bessie. That is a fifth. Does a fifteen hit you? It does not. Yeah, it's a miss. He, he's got to take a couple pecks when he gets you. Fifteen. Let's try to clear. No, I can't. Not the one. He moved. Um, so that's the bird. Bird trying to chomp at you. Um, now it's you. Here we go. Bessie. Um. Oh, Bessie. I'm gonna take my whip out, and I'm gonna... Can I try to, like, lasso the bird? You can try and kind of, like, you can do bring like it down to the ground? Um, yeah, you can do, like, a kind of grapple sort of thing with the, with the uh, whip. Are you trying to do damage, or are you trying to... I'm trying to do damage and... 
and restraint. Stop us from falling around. All right. So this is gonna count as two actions for you. So you can like hit it and then try to like restrain it. So that's a twenty-four to hit. Twenty-four hits. Roll damage. Does it crit? It does not crit. And okay. The damage doesn't change because we leveled up. It's the same. Damage is the same for now, yeah. Uh, but you get a plus okay. one because you're inspired. I rolled a six, so seven. You rolled a six on a d4. It says one d6 for whip. Yeah. Oh, does it? What's the That's what I wrote down. I'm even. Well, on here it says one d four, but on the character sheet you gave me it said one d six. Oh really? Yeah. You wanna Ooh. fact check me? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking fact check you. <laughs> Roll a d five. Just call it even. I did put six. <laughs> okay. Um. So seven. Okay. So I'll roll a d four. I just want. It's okay. I put it on. You want me to roll a d four? There has to be a reason. I put I'm gonna. I can change it. No, that's okay. Uh, how do I over it? So I'm changing it to a D4. Well, why don't you change to a D4 going forward? But I'll give you the seven because GM error. Um, for now. And then you're gonna try to restrain it. So you need to make an athletics um, opposed athletics check against it. Um, but to restrain the bird. I did not restrain the bird. I rolled two. Oh. Two does not do it. Unless they critically fail. They did not critically fail. Um, so you don't restrain it, but you did hit it once. And then you still have one action remaining. Um. Man. If the kids would have just, like, gone to sleep okay, then... <laughs> um, Let's help encounter because I don't think any of us play know what we're doing. We're um, yeah, I don't know if we should be attacking the ghost or attacking the, the VIP guy. Um, I'm gonna punch the bird. Punch the bird. Punch the bird. Uh, no. I hope we're not supposed to be attacking the VIP guy. He's just sitting there. Plus three. Does a nine hit it? A nine doesn't hit it. A nine does not hit it. Uh, good try. Uh, Drace, back to you. I try to talk to the VIP guy and see if he knows anything. Because I already yelled at him. You can talk to him, sure. Can you hear me from here? Or do I have to go closer to him? Oh, he can probably hear you from there. Okay. Can I, I'm, I'm going to ask him, hey, man, do you know, do you recognize this woman? Do you know anything about her? Does she look familiar? Um, yeah, make a, a diplomacy, I guess, because the last time you yelled at him, so you're gonna have to convince him to talk to you. So. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. It's only three. Oh, no! Oh, I never rolled onto the thing. Uh, 14. 14. <laughs> um, he kind of like looks towards you, like kind of raises his eyebrows as he continues to like sip his drink. Mm. And that's about all he does. Thanks a lot. Yep. Yeah, just sitting over there. I'm a little sus now. He's just sitting there drinking it while this is all going on. He's not scared. He was about to act <laughs> until he scared he him out of it. I know. We didn't want him shooting the ghost. Well, the ghost would be the size of this room by now. Let him have his way. Shit, I don't know what to do. Should I just keep attacking fucking uh, Macklemore? Is that, is that the new, is that the, the, the group strategy now? It's up to you, man. I like it. What about the other guy in the corner? What's he been doing? Georgie? It's Georgie, right? He's just... He's just he's, oh, okay. That's Georgie. He's just horrified. Gotcha. He probably did this whole thing. Get him. No, he's mostly, like, sweating and complaining about the damage being done to his... Uh, 
Club. I was just... Which one of the songbirds is Raycath? You don't know. <laughs> oh. They all look yeah. pretty similar. They're, all those robes are pretty close. Shades of red, they're a little bit different, but... None of, them, three none, of them were, none of them were obviously the lead of the band or like the singer. No, there's no singer. So like they, they, it's, they just play instruments. And they chose one to be the, or maybe they just, it's a completely irrelevant name. There's no Ray Kath. I don't know. Sorry. Irrelevant. I'm going to, I'm going to like, I guess I'll attempt like a Ray of Frost on the Macklemore. Okay. Why not? Do it out. The little Ray of Frost. Ooh, 19. Yeah, take that frost, boy. Let's see. Um. Ooh, eight. 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 Cold <laughs> damage, mind you. It's clearly weak to cold. Oh man. <coughs> yep. So you hit him with this ray of frost. So like frosty energy shoots out of you towards him. And he's been so he's been hit by an icicle, and then hit with this cold, frosty ray. Um, I think you have an action remaining, right? I whisper in his ear, "Chill." <laughs> I told him. To, I told him to freeze. Chill, brah. Did we all just freeze? <laughs> no. Mike, one more action? Is that what? Is that what it was? That was it for me, right? Or, or, or did that one first one not count for anything? I didn't count. Oh, okay. Sorry, then I have another action. Um, I I guess I'll just like raise my shield in case anyone attacks me. Ghost. The ghost. <laughs> the ghost. I don't know what to do here. Ghost of the spirit. Oh, spirit. What do we do? The spirit moves. Call the avatar. Slightly. Towards. Drace. Ah! Um. Reaches out. Attacking the other person. Reaches out a hand. Not me. To squeeze ya. No. Reaches out a second hand. Ah. To squeeze at Boomer behind Drace. Not Boomer. Oh, hell no. <laughs> He's just sitting there. He's <laughs> covered like that. Um. <laughs> Nine damage. Hold on, man. I want to use my shield. Hey, Drace, make sure she squeezes your dick. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Give, give me the good old dick squeeze. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess I'll use like my my shield to stop five of it. So, um, Junebug, like, or can I? Option can I even to phase Boomer through this to give him some resistance? Would like to do that. And that's like your focus spell, so you can you can do that. Um, <sighs> yeah. One time. So as Boomer begins to get grabbed, um, just begins to phase through and re and manages to slip out of the hands of this ghostly spirit, uh, negating all damage. Um, Thanks. Um, to this particular attack. Am I able to use my shield to stop five of it? Yeah, you can. Okay. I just didn't know if it worked with the ghost. <coughs> the ghost, um... Um, there, there's some, like... It, it, it's, like, a very cloudy kind of image, and you see inside the clouds 
of the ghost as it's like kind of whirling around that there's like a low rumbling of like thunder um, as it's moving um, that's the end of his turn Junebug, that's you logistical question do I need Boomer physically near me to cast spells no. or can I send Boomer back to the Whisper Well to safety you can tell you can command Boomer to run yeah I want him to run Okay, so Boomer is going to take um, two actions to run. Uh, Boomer's off board. Okay. Uh, Boomer has escaped. Uh, so that's one action for you. So you have two actions remaining. Um, I would like to... Um, roll an occultism again and try to calm her down again. Okay, sure. Okay. Um. Oh, Jesus. Um, I got an 11. 11 is not going to do it unless you want to use a hero point to try to do that again. Mm. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Did we ever find the bat scratch? Uh, Just use that uh, skeleton arm. 14. It's like, it's all the way across the room. I don't want to do it. A 14 okay. is also not going to do it. Um, yeah. You one action. As you like, just continue to chant calm, but like you hear like the thunder inside the cloud like just start to get louder. What the lightning? And thunder. Lightning and thunder. And the thunder. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. See if she's associated with any gods. You can, you can do, you can do like a quick religion check, like if you want to refresh your religious, like knowledge and history. Give you some insight. Oh, okay. man. It's an eight. <laughs> or an not? Eight. Uh, an eight. You don't recall much. Yeah, I mean, Juba does not know based on okay. what she's seeing. Okay. There is something quite divine about this presence, though. Hmm. So is that all but three of my actions? Um, I'll give you the religion one for free. That's fine. You can still do one more thing. Okay. Uh, Y'all, who is associated with... Um, anyway. Okay, I would like to cast... Uh, let's see. Uh, caustic Blast at Macklemore. You only have one action. I'm, oh, I'm right there. No, it's five. Yeah. It's a five-foot radius. So just like the the roots, it would have hit. You only have one action. Yeah. Right. Ah. So I'll do. I'm gonna cast guidance and give it to Luca. Oh, okay. thank you. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Uh, fur coat guy. Uh, now being blasted with two icy attacks. From behind, and uh, he's going to turn for a little attention. He's going to try to turn around and deck Luca with the chain wrapped around his fist. That is a hit. I know it's a hit. It's 
not quite a crit. Well, my shield is up. Oh, right, so it wouldn't have been a crit anyway. Okay, so, um, so farther away from a crit. Um, but it does hit you for... So what you're saying is he's a bitch. Uh, three, point, three points of damage to you. He hits like a bitch? To me or to my shield or how am I applying this? So you can use um, you can use shield block, right? What does shield block do? I mean, fuck, I don't know the rules of this game. <laughs> I just fucking run one. <laughs> um, shield will... That's the hardest of three. So shield will... Uh, yeah, can move. Take this. Right. It has six HP. My shield does. Yeah. So yeah. So um, so actually, like you, it's three damage. So it negates it because it's hard. This is three. So you don't take it. Um, Do I subtract three from it? Nice. It's just Did your job, shield. The block is punch. Um, and then with his other Aha. hand, with his other hand, he's gonna point a finger gun at Drace. Ah. I already used my shield. He's muttering at you. Oh, you want Mac one? How Get the fuck! You hate to see it. You hate uh, to see it. So as he tries to daze you with a uh, like a mental like jolt, he shoots it right past you, um, right where Boomer was standing, until he. Uh, right. Um, it hits Boomer, and so he missed you. Dead. He his punch got blocked. And he's a little bit out of breath, and he tries to shoot you and misses. Luca, that's you. Okay, so he punched me first, so his attention is not quite on me at this point. Yeah, but right after he punched me, I want to see if I can. Uh, how's the chain wrapped around his hand, like fully, like all around his arm, like all the way up it? Is there any hanging off of it? It's it's like a, like it's like around his his fist and a little bit up his forearm, just hanging off like maybe. A, Okay, well, I find a, like, whatever little loop I can grab onto, or hopefully a piece that's one of the ends, you know, there's got to be two ends of this chain. And I, I want to attempt to grab it and kind of um, ask him how it feels and wrap it around his neck. Okay, you can do this with a grapple attempt. Um, you have to make an athletics check. Not my best stat, but we're gonna do it anyway, just because I, I feel the fucking rage, man. All right. Athletics! <clears throat> I'm gonna try that one more time. Okay. That was a seven. All together. Seven. I'm on, oh. motherfucker! All right, that's a 17. 17. Yeah, so you managed to grapple it. This guy doesn't Hell have yeah. a lot of physical strength. So, um, you grapple, you, you wrap the chain. Uh, it's like a little spittle. It starts to spill out of his mouth um, as you wrap it around his neck. Um, and then I want to kind of like, I want to like do like a yo-yo and like walk the dog. So I want to like, you know, like make it so like he kind of like spins down to the ground if possible or... I mean, it's going to be another athletics check against him if you want to also make him prone. Hmm. How about if I do something else? Now that I have it wrapped around his neck, can I 
intimidate him like a an owner would a pet? Yeah, you trying to get him like calm down or, or just like by scaring. Realize, yeah, realize that I have control over him, basically. Yeah, you can make an intimidation check. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Intimidation nineteen. Okay, yeah, you um, as as the chain wraps around his neck, and he feels like it's struggling to breathe. He um, he, he is successful for sure. I don't know if you want to say anything to him in particular, uh, if you can. Um, Uh, uh, something along the lines of, well, now that you've had a taste of your own medicine, I see you've calmed down a bit. Yeah, that's uh, something like that. Okay, yeah, so yeah, he, uh, yeah, he's, he's struggling to breathe, he's kind of grasping at his, at his own throat, uh, the chain. Um, cool. Uh, is that all your actions? Do you have anything left? Hmm. Um, I think that's it, right? I mean, I want to, I, I guess I just want to... Oh, you grab me, you try to knock him prone, right? But then you intimidate him. Okay, so that is, that is your three actions, yeah. Um, well, I didn't actually try to knock him prone. I changed my mind and intimidated him st instead. I just want to pss, pss, pss to the kitty. Huh. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, you can... That's all. I want to make sure Dan is okay as well, because, you know, we haven't really heard anything from those guys down there. But Kitty's first priority. Cool. Um, the songbirds are going to continue to play their song and um, inspire you guys for another round. Um, it is now the cat's turn. Um, the cat's down in the dark with Dano. Um, still eating sick. Uh, it hasn't been that long, so... Just uh, happy to be fit. Uh, Dano, anything else you want to do down in this basement? Uh, yes. So um, I assume what I know of bar basements in cities, there's going to be one set of stairs going back upstairs and then one set of stairs sort of going up into like that, the, the neighboring alley sort of deal, like an external thing. Yep. And I can tell which one that is. You can, get, you can guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to rush over to the, uh, the bootlegging equipment. Okay. I'm going to start knocking everything over and sort of like knocking over vats and barrels and knocking all the alcohol all over the floor. Okay. So that way, you know, all this flammable liquid is now being, you know, spread apart over the room okay. and I'm going to yell upstairs. Hey, mates, if you don't get this figured out in the next 10 seconds, this whole place is going to be going up. <laughs> so, you know, figure it out or start running. Okay, got it. Yep. And that's, uh, that's my turn there. So the floor is covered in partially uh -huh. distilled alcohols and, and stuff that's, like, highly flammable. Um, Damn! Damn! <laughs> All right, back to the VIP. He's dr drinking his drink, bird. Yeah, he's trying to go to bed at a normal hour. He's like, let's get out, let's just get this going. And uh, yeah, so VIP, uh, you hear Dano yell one. <laughs> uh, bird is going to attempt to. Bird. Oh, a bird is going to. Um... Actually, move now that um, also bird also struggling to to breathe. It seems um, it's going to fly over to Macklemore. Do I get an attack of opportunity or anything like that? No, no. This is Pathfinder. You, don't have, <laughs> you have to have that. I mean, I have. I had a thingy like that. Before I didn't know if it was like a skill set you need to have. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this bird is going to attempt to free, um, free uh, Macklemore. I'm not calling him Macklemore. Um, Thrift shop. 
Um, it's going to Hop and tag. Peck a little bit at Luca's hand to try to loosen the chain. You can make an opposed athletics check if you'd like. You do need to hit a nat 20 in order to succeed. Me? Yes. I mean, I might as well try, right? Yeah, yeah. No, no harm. No harm. No harm. Yeah. Alrighty, that ain't it. Yeah, so he um, he pecks your hand, and you kind of lose a little bit of grip on the chain. Um, and then he's going to try to snap at you and cause some damage. Then all yells up two. That is a uh, eighteen. Uh, is it DC AC? It's AC, right? So mine, yeah, I'm at 16 plus one with my shield, so 17. So yeah. Damn, Erd, that's half my life. That's the end of Bird's turn. Bessie, it's back to you. <clears throat> Three. <laughs> All right. Um. We've been going at this for fucking forever. I guess I'm just gonna attack the ghost. <laughs> You're gonna attack the ghost. I mean, I don't know. We've we've been just trying to get the the vip guy. The ghost ain't. Yeah, I, don't even, I don't even know what we're doing. Not, to be honest. Yeah, like. I will can say... I actually make a perception check on vip? Yeah. Sure. Does that count as an action? No, I won't count it because it sounds like you want to that. After, After eleven o'clock, o'clock, it does. Uh, yeah, you know, he's drinking his drink, and, uh, yeah. Um, uh, I will tell you that with the actions you guys have taken against the haunt, the haunting ghost, uh, spirit, um, most of your attempts have failed. And so, maybe if we could just roll well once. <laughs> I did, I did roll really well, and my, uh, di- diplomacy didn't work. Well, you had well, a not success a against it, um, but you know it, it's in between like being right, right. to be talked to and also being attacked by other people, so it's kind of back and forth. It's kind of back. He's throwing us a bone here, guys. What does he mean by that? Don't attack the ghost. I cast soothe on the ghost. You cast soothe. And as I do that, I say, again, most of us mean you no harm. Can you just chill out and we'll help you? Okay. You cast Soothe on the Ghost. Um, You see, as you do this healing spell um, on the Ghost, it does calm it. Oh no, my stream got disconnected. Why did that happen? Oh, we have to start the whole thing over now. Yep, I guess. Yeah, we got to start the spell. Um, Yeah, so you managed to calm the spirit enough that it looks at you um, uh, calmly. And I say, I have to be in Columbia at 7.15. Can we? We wrap this up. The spirit just trying, just trying with, to a, with, a, with just like a half a smile um, dissipates into a cloud of mist. And uh, that, that was it. spreads throughout the, the uh, room. Bitch. And it dis- and it Five! I took one last swing at it and said, haha, just missed. I forgot the bomb was... <laughs> um, and then the entire place erupts in flames. Um... So we'll be out of initiative. Um, yeah, so this spirit... Uh, <laughs> I forgot that. 
I forgot that Dano was like in the hole and then you moved the spirit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, the spirit has disappeared. Georgie is trying to yell down to Dana, like, please, please don't <laughs> do anything. Or, like, whatever. Paul taking what? care of up there. So, like, we're out of initiative, but what's happening with the coat, with the fur coat guy? Um, he, <coughs> now, uh, free from his chains, uh, around his neck. Um, kind of I himself didn't up allow bit. that. The, the bird broke him free. You said I, I loosened my grip a little bit. Well, he broke free. Mm-hmm. Okay, just checking. You have the chain now, though. Um... I got a new weapon. Fuck yeah. Um, yeah, he, bra- he, bra- he, he does like y- your hands get pecked at and he's able to like slip out, um, of the chain. He's not being hostile towards you guys yeah. at the moment. Um, uh, I guess I'll make my way upstairs. Yep. Make your way upstairs. Go back upstairs. You can actually just make like, jump way. back up through the hole if you'd like. Uh, and be up there. I uh, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna potentially embarrass myself. Okay. So you're I'm also carrying athletic, athletic, athletic check. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I'll just. I'll just go up the stairs. Go up the stairs. You come back down through the hallway, uh, back oh. into the room. Um, that was a close one, there, Georgie. Your place was about to be the hottest spot this tonight. Dano, it's time to let the cat out of the bag. Uh, oh, hey there, and all. This is me, cat, now. His name is Jeremy. Unless you got something to trade. <laughs> the um, I... Luca does a little piss 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 and instinctively the cat saunters over to Luca. He's in my head. <laughs> jumps out of your he's hands. Got... Out of your hat. No, he's in the hat. He's Jum- grappled in the hat. Luca, just trade me the chain for the cat, is what I'm implying. <laughs> I see this Christ, you got something a few more times. We want to swap. That was that was not the implication. And if you just said the words outright, Dano, it would. I toss the chain, toss the cat, toss the chain. Ready? Three, okay. two, two, one. I toss neither the cat. Of, neither of toss. <laughs> <Neither we toss. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> All right, we respect the fact that neither of us tossed, and then I go up to him and we make a fair trade. All right. There you go. Oh, I, also, here. I want to know if you want this Arquebus too. It's a it's a big, heavy rifle, and you're a big, heavy man. And I don't know if you have any sort of um, ranged weapons, or if you'd I'm be sorry, interested. Ryan, I don't touch guns anymore. No worries. No. I'll keep it for myself then. Thank you. Uh, Chains it is. Is it a cool chain? Like a gold chain? No, it's a, it's like a like a like a, like a silverish colored chain, like a steel chain or whatever. But it's like it's like big links. It's like big links though. Um, yeah. There we go. One uh, chain. And uh, as the cat is made is traded to Luca, um, the the man in the fur coat is is like a, that's my cat. Uh he bought it from I... me for a square buckle. Not sure so much about that anymore, Macklemore. Be lucky, be lucky you still have your bird, my friend. <coughs> he says uh, that chain was expensive, too. Um, yeah, I bet you could barely afford it, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um... He's just gonna. And I'll give it. Uh, can I intimidate him? I intimidate. Him. Yeah, you can. You can do an intimidation on him. All right. Uh, nice uh, sixteen intimidation. 16 With my days. friend, I still have guidance, and uh, it, it. I've been improved. Whatever it's called, you inspired. Got, you so got inspired. So you're good. So that gives you a plus one. Uh, yeah. So um, he kind of like puts his hands up, like you know, what? if you want the cat and the and my special chain, just keep them. Um, That's right. Yeah. Uh, anything you guys want to do in this moment? This is I'm going to go up to the injured band member and do a medicine check to try and heal him. Okay. Who is this fellow right over here? Um, go ahead and do a medicine. You killed him. 
I did roll a nat one. <laughs> nat one, huh? I hate to see it right before we go to sleep. If it's gonna okay. like kill him or, or something, I would like to use a hero point. <laughs> uh, there's a chance it could take him down. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna use a hero point and re roll that. Go ahead. Well, the dude that one's in a row, but what is not? Okay, that was a 19 plus three, I think it is. So, you so can, much better. You can heal him for a. Uh, what is it? A, I don't even know. A D8 plus something. I asked Macklemore what the name of the cat is. It's Jeremy, I told you. No, I want to know what he called the cat. It doesn't really tell me when I click on it what it is. I call the I... cat the cat. It doesn't matter what you fucking call the cat. Her name is Levlin now. Levlin? What? I thought it was a boy cat. What, what am I healing him for, Scott? Uh... Nope, lack of penis means girl cat. Hold on. I think it's a D8 plus... Eight or something. Does that make sense? Hey, Luca. Well, then that would be nine. Yeah. Yeah, Drace. Okay. Because I rolled a one. I pet that cat. Can I pet that cat? You can pet that cat. You heal one of the <laughs> Watch out, that, that cat is uh, sort of covered in a lot of alcohol there, so you don't want to watch out. He, uh, the, the yeah. songbird, like, uh, stands back. Up, cause, oh, no, he's standing up, um, but he like kind of gets up, like gives you a bow of respect. Ooh, respect. So that's not uh, Raycath. He was just a songbird. He's probably just a songbird. You don't know. Oh, we you know. You no, you refer Even to him as a songbird. Thing. They're all songbirds. Nope. Not Raycath. Otherwise, Ray it would be and the songbird. I'm not gonna. It would be Raycath. Raycast the songbird and, and the rest of the songbirds. With the songbirds. <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, lads, uh, this place seems a little dead. How about you come back to ours for an after party? We'll show you a bit of a, a open hand. What are we called right. again? Feral hands. <laughs> See how, yeah. how feral this hand is. A bit of a wild time. There you go. <laughs> Are we sure that everybody in here is like, you mean just the songbirds, right? Are you inviting like everybody back? Uh, Not just the songbirds. I, I was sort of in, in imitating to the the songbirds, I guess. Okay, okay. If other okay. people um, here, I want to walk up to. I want to walk up to. Um... Vip. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to like sit on the table in front of him and cross my leg and be like, and where were you in the scuffle? Like, kind of flirty, but like, also like, what the fuck? Why did you just sit there? He takes a sip of his drink and then puts it down on the table next to you and says, uh, that was one hell of a performance you gave. Oh, here we go. Felix is here. <laughs> Scott's like, yep, got her again. <laughs> this is what I was Bestie waiting will for. not be sleeping with any of the NPCs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we obviously see that not happening right now. He's being genuine. No, okay, so he said this, it was This session a, could be ended, but instead you decided to flirt with the fucking fictitious NPCs. I'm not trying to flirt with them, I'm trying to, like, be charming and... and disarming and figure out who this person is so i'm gonna say um thank you for the flattery but we're way past that who are you my name is carmine tungsten carmine tungsten carmine <laughs> and what brings you to the purple marble tungsten I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a man about town and this seemed like the happening place to be tonight you can call me w you seemed awfully calm during all of this disturbance. Is this something that you see regularly? No, not necessarily. Um, but I knew that I wasn't going to be much help against the giant spirity ghost thing with my knife and my gun. You looked like you were about to shoot. I, I probably would have hit one of you. And where are you from? I'm from here. I'm from Mistwall. 
Can I make Quite a perception a... check on him? Sure. He seems pretty sus. Definitely. Seems like he could. Uh, twenty-one. I want to know, like, does it seem like he's like? Why did he seem so chill during all of this? I guess. Does it seem like he would be good <laughs> in the sheets? He. I wouldn't necessarily say he was he was chill. He was coerced into sitting back down and like. He he's good at he, you can tell that he's good at putting on like a putting on a face um, like a facade um, to to give the um, perception that he's calm in high pressure situations. You want to come too, Mister Carmine? Oh my Where God! Where are you them? <laughs> We're taking him back to the bar. Come on, let's get out of here. We're at a bar. Fuck this bar. Let's get out of here. Oh my bar god. Is a, this bar is a, um, it's shut down now. Fuck you, Georgie. I want me buddy back. <laughs> Georgie, do not listen to Dano. He's not with me anymore. You take him out if you must. Where's um, there any customers right now? They kick us out. What do you do in Mistmore, Tungsten Carmine? Well, Dano walks out. <laughs> <laughs> You may have to get the be a little bit better before uh, we get into that. Oh, here we go. But I'm happy to get out of here, um, away from that motherfucker over there. And he points to the guy in the fur coat, um, who points back, and he says, "Hey, fuck you, man! I didn't ask for this shit." And who are you? What? You're talking to the guy in the fur coat now. Yeah. yeah, I want to know what your name is now. Why do you want? Why do you want to know who I am? You people tried to kill me, and I'm being real chill about that right now. I just want to make sure the right name's on the uh, tombstone for the next time we see you. <laughs> <laughs> he tries to come up with some retort about how it's going to be your tombstone instead. <laughs> We could just leave an unmarked grave, man. So leave it unmarked. I look at the Caracal, like, and I think about sicking her on him, but I think twice. Hmm. He thinks twice and does it. And I don't do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, the uh, Furco guy, um, like, brushes some, like, debris and stuff off of him. And he's like, well, I'm leaving. And heads for the door. Uh, can I, can I cast Tanglevine on him to stop him? Because he definitely just tried to attack, like, the songbirds, and that's really suspicious. You can cast Tanglevine. Okay, cast Tanglevine on him before he walks out the door. And uh, I yell out to Dana, who's outside, Don't let him leave! Usually, I'm having to kick people out of bars. Um, I ask him if you have to make a played. spell attack roll on the tangle vine. That tangle vine. This is a plus eight. Ugh. Ten. Ooh. Ten. That's a stinky. And you don't have any uh, hero points left. No. Okay. Um, yeah, you cast Tanglevine. Um, it misses the target. Um, it just takes the speed down by ten, so he still would have been moving anyway. Yeah. I'll grab him as he comes out the door. I'll be at the door. Next. Apparently, they want to keep talking to you. And I'll grapple them. <coughs> yeah, you're... Um... Does, does the Whisper Will have, like, a holding cell for people we want to question? <laughs> a detention center? I mean, it's just like a cell? speakeasy. No, there's no holding cell. I mean, there's rooms that you can... Listen, we got some empty barrels. <laughs> okay. I don't think we should, don't think we should be picking anybody uh, that we think is suspicious back to our like base of operations. Right. I'm not trying to get Tungsten Carmine into the Whisper Well. 
Um, we don't know yeah, who he's he is. to get him in somewhere else. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. He's about to put his tongue in something. Hey, oh. Uh, in, in your car mine. No. In your car mine. Yeah, he's in the mining business. <laughs> Digging for coal. Um, so you, gra you grab um, Furco guy. No role necessary to grapple him with your strength. Um, you grab him, no problem. Uh, the bird's a little concerned, um, but also a little beat up, so not really doing much about it. I break it. his arm? You want to break, break like, his arm? You, yeah. I just snap one arm, <laughs> like at the elbow? You will have to make a, a, an attack roll to do that, to break his arm. <laughs> okay, how about I use that as an intimidation? I sort of hold his arm, and I'm like, I could break this. Yeah, you can. I'll do it. <laughs> That's fine. You can do that. Yeah. I do it. Does okay. the does the uh, the bird's wing lift up in a similar manner? No, it doesn't move the same. Okay. Um, like a voodoo situation. You, uh, I I look at the rest of the group. Hmm. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. What Let's if see. we like start back at this? Yeah, yeah, we can we can end the session yeah. there um, with him restrained. Um, we can always like talk through some of this part, I guess. On the, yeah, yeah, the we're chat. out of initiative, so we can talk through it uh, on Discord. Um, yeah, so I think we're gonna call there. It is late. It is late. Love. Stream is over. Made it.